Hurry up, Frostman, grab it. Grab it, Frostman, hurry, hurry, grab the achievement. Grab it, hurry, 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 hurry. Grab it before he gets here. <laughs> Hit your quibble and somebody hit I am first and best before double M double three jumps in here and grabs it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> double M. It, it, we, we've had it less than two weeks. Tomorrow's probably two weeks, right? Double M has grabbed it for like 12 of those days in a row and then frost did you grab it yesterday and then frost grabbed it today so we we shall see who continues to get it hello newt newt magoot hello cat how are you we um we have illumination in the tank today um i figured today is technically actually officially ripley's last day in that spot she will be moving um, and I figured I would give her a little bit of light so you guys can see her because this is her last day with her, um, her co-star role on this show. She will be, uh, she will be moving. And that does actually mean that she will end up in the background of my stream. <laughs> so, I mean, she's still working. She's, she's still getting cash money from SAG, right? She's, she's still good to go. Um, we have Murphy over here being weird. Why do I move? So we don't move them generally. Everyone has basically been in the same spot. We brought Ripley home in July. So she has been in that spot since July. However, um, two weeks ago, we got the two baby boys, Murphy and Archie, and they're over here on my side. I was able to like find a little table thing like out on a curb a few houses down. I'm um, actually in like pretty great condition. So that's on my side of the office. Their tanks are set up and like, like cheapy little tanks because we didn't know we were getting two boys. Was able to buy a tank for Murph and Queeb would like for Murphy to be on his desk because Murphy, out, out of all of the animals in this house that are Queebs, Murphy is the most, the most Queeb animal that belongs to Queeb, if that makes sense. That That is his baby. He would like his baby next to him. I thought Ripley was his baby. Apparently I was wrong. That is fine. So Ripley's going to move over here by uh, Mr. Archimedes, name pending. And uh, yeah, so Murphy's going to get an upgrade. Murphy is also the only snake we have that's in a plastic tub, which they can, they can be in a plastic tub, but it's not, um, it doesn't hold a lot of humidity. And that's something that ball pythons need. So, uh, I just, my brain just went blank. RT is in a 10 gallon. This makes no sense to you guys. Uh, Murphy's getting moved to a 25 gallon. Ripley is currently in a 30 gallon tall. And then the others are in a 40 gallon, which means as soon as we get Murphy moved, we will need to get Archie a new tank because he is in a 10 gallon and he's already like, he's going to outgrow it before February. People are coming in. Frostman. We have one rule on this channel and you know that the rule is do not get COVID. Have you violated the rule? The one rule. I mean, not in no back seating, but <laughs> the one rule. Please take care of yourself. Please, please. I love you. I want you to be better. Teal with that damn duck. I swear, I swear to Christ. Actually, I need, I need to update this title. We got Mercrimus. 
in the title now because it should be there. You have you have violated the rules. Sui, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us on this Noitemus. Noitemus? What's Noitemus? I guess it's Noitemus, but Noitemus reminds me of the Noid. Do you guys remember the Noid from the Domino's commercials? It reminds me of the Noid. Murder. Hello. Murder, was it you that grabbed the achievement yesterday for the I am first and best? Who grabbed it? Like, I'm just, I'm glad that, that I don't, I don't care who grabs it. I just, Double M was camping it. <laughs> As someone who rolled Hunter in World of Warcraft for several years and had people fucking camping pets. I don't like campers. So I just wanted some, someone else to grab it. So he could not get it. You guys know what day it is. Yes, it is December 25th. It is the 25th day of 31 days of Quibbent calendar thing, whatever. Uh, Murder, did you grab the I am first and best achievement yesterday? I believe you did, but I don't remember. I thought it was Frost, but it was either you or him. Like, y'all are my dudes. Um, today... The, Isaac does not exist today because today is is apparently the best day of the entire year. Today is Noitmas. Yes, it is Noitmas. Today is Noita. Murder, if you uh, click on the quibbles, there is a little reward challenge achievement thing that says I am first and best for 10 quibbles um, for like almost two weeks, double M, double three, double M, double three has grabbed it because he said that he said that he camps in the room. Like, like he was in the room for like 90 minutes before we started one day just so he could grab it. So I'm like, aha, you're a camper. I wish I could go back and look. Yeah, damn it. It's going to bother me. You'd think that it was with fuck. Who was it? It's going to bother me. I'm looking very forward to Noitmas, otherwise safely tucked away in a hotel room after spending some time reaffirming that family is best in small doses. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> family is, is completely best in small doses. Um, I have already, I already got the, 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 the mother guilt trip. I got it yesterday. Allow me to read to you from the, the scrolls of the disappointed mother. Because I'm, I'm sure we will all enjoy it. Uh -oh. So I told her. That, well, first, I will be up front. She sent me $25 for Christmas via PayPal. So that was cool. Um, and I said, thank you. I'm sorry. Uh my best friend died from COVID just to like give her a heads up because she knew him. Like I had talked to her about him before. Right. And then starts the whole diatribe about COVID. I'm like, Nope, we're Nope. I cut her off. I like, I laid out the facts. I cut her off. And I was basically like, look, this isn't a discussion we're going to have. And she said, Oh shit. Where is it? Oh, fuck. Oh. This year has been extremely hard for me, and I'm doing it alone. None of my children are home for Christmas again this year. Holidays are rough for me, but I have decided to change that. I will no longer plan to be here or available for the holidays. From now on, I will travel, exclamation point, and do my own thing. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Like, I, I, I don't know. I just, I find, I find it unusual that, that on December 24th, she's like, my kids aren't going to visit me again this year. I should have just made plans. Okay. You should have made plans, girl. 
it's it's a pandemic so like i i actually had to respond to her and i'm like i understand your impulse to travel but it is a pandemic planes are getting shut down like how many flights got canceled in the last couple of days because of this so i mean if you want to travel by all means but just just know it's a pandemic um but yeah, like, got a couple of, of uh, Christmas wishes from you guys. I got a couple from my friend. And that's it, because I am completely estranged from my family. Thank God. I'm not sure how bad it is on the planes, Cat, but we did have like a fuck ton of flights get canceled because of the new variant that's going around and on the planes like i think it was south west i believe uh there was a story about how um someone took off his mask and he he's like well you know I can do what I want. I don't have to wear a mask. Da, da 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 da. And the staff didn't do anything about it. And then they they released some some official statement or whatnot that said um, they're not even going to enforce vaccines with their flight attendants. They're not going to enforce mask mandate. And it was just like regardless of politics, like I some people have to travel. Like for some people, it's it's not like a, a trip that they they want to make. Someone in here, I forget who it was, yesterday said that they they have to go see their uh, their mother or their grandmother this year because they don't think that she'll be around next year. Maybe it was Suey. I don't I don't remember. But yeah, like some people have to go on a plane, so it's whatever. Heineman, damn it, Mercrimus have I, I hope your day has been amazing i hope everyone's day has been amazing my day has been very short i was woke up at um 5 30 with really bad acid reflux I, so i did my whole uh chugging pepto and i took a couple of me meprazole and i had an ice pack on my throat while i drank very cold chocolate milk <laughs> um and I took some pain pills and uh, I was able to get back to sleep around like 6.30 or 7, whenever. Yeah, I was so pissed off. Um, no, actually, I started to go to sleep and Zoe woke me up. She's like, oh, hey, I I noticed that you're breathing. Can we go outside? I'm like, fuck. I took the dogs out, put them in the kennels, went back to bed, and then I woke up at 12.30, which... That's kind of the latest that I have slept in a very long time. However, to be fair, I was in a lot of pain this morning. Um, we have not cooked. We did not set up a tree this year. Queeb has a stocking with snacks in it. He hasn't even touched it. I don't care. Like like this year, I, I do not give, give a quarter of a fuck. Thankful I'm close enough to drive and that most of my family doesn't have any speaking relationship with my parents. Pretty distant condition prior to COVID, so they're not here. Same. Um, both sides of my family, they're very anti-vax. Um, it would have caused a lot of grief if I had even been talking to my family, but I don't. So I'm just, I'm doing my thing. I'm out here. Leave me alone. No guilt trips. It's kind of nice. And I was thinking about it. Like... What if, what if I had never moved out here? What if I had never gotten married? What if I had just stayed in Texas instead of moving to be a Cleve, right? I would still be in Texas. I would have been dragged to go visit relatives. I would have absolutely gotten COVID. Absolutely. Just because none of them believe in in being safe and and it's all of, it's more about civil rights quote unquote than it is about keeping people safe chatty or chotty 
how do I pronounce your name? Hello. Hi, how are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Queedmas. Merry Noitmas. Merry Christmas. I am so glad you could join us today on this Noitmas day. Uh, we do have Noita coming up today. We are not, Isaac does not exist today. We exist in a world where there is only Noita. Only this. Fonzie? Hey, how are you? You know what? It's another day. It's another day. Just hanging out. Uh, all I have done today is um, I made a sandwich <laughs> for myself. <laughs> um, I, what else did I do? No, I did the tank changes yesterday on Huxi and Fefe. Um, I started to change out Archie's tank, like like give him new substrate, and he he started to get a little sassy with me. So I'm like, you know what? You can stay there. It's okay. I'm not gonna move your shit. Not happy. Um. Murphy, as always, I have come to believe is my supervisor, my my immediate supervisor, and he made sure that I was doing okay. Um, and I worked for a bit on the Queeb shop, the merch shop, as well as uh, on my own stuff that will be launching whenever my stream launches. We fungal shifted Isaac away o only for only for one day. Now. A couple of things could happen today. Now, you guys could play Noita all day, or rather all night, or he could play it and get a little bored and then want to go back to Isaac. But at least for right now, for the next couple of hours, Noita is all that exists. Uh, yes, there is movement on the screen right now. That is Miss Ripley in her tree trunk doing her thing. Can't wait to watch some Noita. By the way, Queen made me discover this game and I fell in love with it. But I can't. Oh, it's awesome! That's amazing. Yeah, like, so he he played it and he he like stopped officially playing it earlier this year. And there's been like so many um so many updates that he's now whenever he goes back today, he's literally just gonna do the the base content because there's so much he 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 has no idea how much to like like basically starting from scratch my sandwich was uh the last two pieces of like a, a garlic loaf which i'm going to learn how to bake i've got all of the ingredients i was actually going to make them and some some of these crispy roll things that i found on tiktok and i was feeling ambitious at like midnight I'm like no 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 midnight miss queeb would love to make these 2 a.m. Miss Queeb would be like, why are you still trying to fucking make these things? We could have been in bed. Uh, so it was garlic, garlic bread. Uh, what else do I have on it? Black forest ham. My figgy preserves. Or is it a marmalade? I think, I don't remember fig something and the only cheese i had was mozzarella super good super amazing but then again like homemade sandwiches like they always hit the spot like they like at that moment in time it is the best thing you could eat people should have a silver right to absolutely heinerman absolutely like it, it's <laughs> It's fuckery. Like, let's be real. It's fuckery. It's Mick fuckery. JCC, hi. How are you? Merkromus, welcome to the channel. My breakfast was toasted bread and goat cheese. <gasps> Someone on TikTok, obviously TikTok, did that, but they also added um, uh, blueberries, I believe. They... Um, they reduced them down a little bit in a in a pot so it was like all nice and warm and melty i don't eat like berries i, I don't eat most fruit but that looked amazing 
updates kind of stuff. Yeah. He, um, someone asked him last night, like, are you going to play the base game? Or are you going to play, like, the, play, like, the current up-to-date as of right now version? He's like, no, there's too much. He's too rusty. <laughs> but who, I think he's going to start playing it and it's going to all come back like, like a bike. Wounds. Wounds. He said wounds will be opened back up. Miss the sandwich shop next to my place in Switzerland. I've always wanted to move to Switzerland. It's the kind that makes you choose your cheese, meat, etc. And we come. So here, we call that Subway. I highly doubt you went to a Subway in Switzerland. And if you did, I'm sure it was extremely fancy. I wish we had a place like that here. That was just like, it was, it, it's like Subway, but it's like much fancier and like much more elevated and, and fantastical. Um, actually, we have like a ton of like little meats and cheeses. I might uh, make that aforementioned quote unquote shark coochie board. Yes, I know how to pronounce it. That's how we say it here um, for Quib to munch on while I figure out what the hell to make. Bonzi, seriously, that place sounds incredible. Truly, I, I don't even know if we, well, I would think if we had it anywhere, it's either going to be in, it'll either be in New York or LA. So hopefully we have someplace, but that just sounds fantastic. Most important thing is he enjoys it himself. I don't think he would have suggested it if he didn't want to at least try it. And I think this is good because if we had done it any other day, then people would have been pestering like they sometimes do. But saving it for Christmas makes it a special occasion. And he can stop anytime he wants. And who knows, maybe this will be our Christmas tradition. Like he never plays Noita again, except on Noitmas. Except on Noitmas. I think they're all over the world. People all over the world. Uh. Okay, let's do this. How many Subway franchises are there? You gotta know how to Google your shit. Holy shit. 41,600 stores worldwide. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Serious? Dunk, hello. How are you? I like that cat. Please hold. Please hold. Glitch cat. I have, wait, do I have access to that cat? Oh, do I? Can, I? can I say that? Hold on, hold on. How? I'm, I'm excited. No, 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 you don't understand. I, I love emotes. You know how when we were kids, like we collected stickers, but we never really put them on anything, or at least like, you know, the ADHD kids didn't put them on anything. The little <laughs> neurodiver, the neuro spicy kids. Uh, we would just, like, keep them because we didn't want anything to happen to the stickers. Yeah, like, I feel that way, but with... Oh, 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 look, I have him. Oh, he's perfect. I love him. I love him. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, like, I'm crazy about the emote. They're perfect. We were joking around and calling it Shark Coochie. When was it? Like a few weeks ago, I, at the beginning of Jammus, whenever we were like doing the jam vent calendar and <laughs> like one or two people seriously corrected us and they, they did it like a couple of days in a row. And we started having to preface every time we say shark coochie, we're like, we're just weird. We're just weird. That That's all it is. We're just weird. The, the feeling of discovery and Noita is what pulls you in, especially when you know enough to be interested, but not to the point where you know everything. Noita is this amazing game that is so hard to learn, like so many small mechanics that are secrets, and it's either you read the whole wiki page or learn the hard way by dying a lot. Ha. You want to see what the place looks like? Look for Nyon. Nyon. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm looking it up. <gasps> it's a fairy tale. Look at it. 
Oh man. I wish I could take my dogs to a place like that. But I can't, which means unfortunately I cannot move. I, I have to stay here in this country. Maybe move to one of the very few that will accept a, an American Staffisher. With my ADHD, I was glad to put all my stickers on my bed or door in instant regret. See? See? Like, once you, you have the stickers, yes, and then you use them, and then there are no more stickers. Like, you have used the stickers. I'm telling you, like, it's like a dagger to the heart. So what what has, and, and it's the same thing with, with coloring books. I have like a, a crap ton of adult coloring books. I love them. Do you know how I use them? I make a copy of the page and color it. So I always have it. So I have a clean book because <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. The Noita Adventure Map. Please hold. Y'all are y'all are just giving me shit. I'm having to look it up. I think the funny thing about this entire thing is that I have watched probably a thousand hours of Queeb playing Noita. I don't understand the game. Like I I and, and it is textbook. It's textbook me because if if I would have been walked through the game once or twice, I would I would know the game like the back of my hand. But instead, I have watched someone play a, over a thousand hours. Like he's he's played like thirteen, fourteen hundred hours, something like that. I've watched almost a thousand hours, and I I know nothing. Since hello, my love, welcome on this. First annual Noitmas. How are you? I hope your your Christmas was lovely. Please don't say neon like neon. It's neon. On the French way, not the English way. Thank you for that, Bonzi. I appreciate it. Seriously, thank you. Like, like growing up, I used to get made fun of whenever I said something wrong. And so now like I, it's like, it's really a sore point, which is why whenever someone comes in, I want to make sure that I pronounce their name properly because i know how it feels to like actually you said it wrong fuck you fuck you denise i have a ton of stickers that just lay there because i found <laughs> them i feel good now <laughs> i'm the same way i don't um chad definitely like i i have the stickers and you know how like they have planners and they have like all the little stickers for planners i can't use the stickers for the planner pages like even the ones that say appointment or vacay i just feel so bad i don't want to use them at all which is all about one building knowing what spells go together absolutely teal and and yet still don't still don't know still don't understand like like it just mm -mm. Wizard trying to be a stronger wizard, you'll suddenly your fragmented bits and pieces of what used to be a wizard. I like that, Stewie. <laughs> I like that. You said it. Go yes! Perfect. Thank you, Fonzie. Don't look up. Please hold. Um, for those of you that are on TikTok, you know how some people will, like, they'll do a live stream and they'll stream a movie? Like, they'll they'll set the camera up so it, it it's looking at their screen and they're playing a movie so someone played that movie finch is it called finch with tom hanks finch finch yes f-i-n-c-h and i was like oh there's a puppy in it there's a robot how great and i went and i because i i need to know what the movie is about before i watch it mm-mm that that nope nope that that's a sad movie that's a sad movie don't look up it, the one with 
fucking Leo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence? Satire of media, government, and cultural indifference to climate change. Where is it streaming right now? Does it tell me? No, it is on Netflix. Okay, cool. So let me go to Netflix. And let me put it on my list before I forget. More proof that the damn effing everything is spying on me. I went to Netflix.com and right there, the main preview is that movie. <laughs> and I was literally on Netflix this morning and it didn't pop up. All right, it is saved to my list. One of the best movies is Who Killed Captain... Please hold. Who Killed Captain... Thanks, D2 people in here. God damn it. Hi there. Hello. My name is Ms. Quib, and welcome to this first annual Noitness. Yes, we are playing Noita today. Today, Binding of Isaac does not exist. Uh, currently, if you're brand new to the channel, if you look on your screen right now, you see Miss Ripley Nicole, Ripley Renee, Ripley Marie, whatever you want to call her, uh, poking her head out of her little tree trunk and trying to figure out where the hell she wants to go. Is the Noita VOD going to get deleted, leaving everyone to question whether this... I I think he will post it. Well, I don't know, but knowing him, I think he would post it. So so there is new Noita content for people to watch, and he may end up deleting it later. But I do think he is going to post a VOD. Tell me, any animal more cute than an otter? Um, a pangolin. Have you seen their little hands? They always look like they, they're waiting patiently to ask you a question. Seriously, go look up a pangolin. I'll wait. <laughs> pangolin. Hold on, I'll find you a photo. Like, they always have, like, their little hands together. Like, excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, that's a good one. Hold on, hold on. Pardon? If you do not mind, I would like to ask you a question. That is a really ugly link, but click it. It's safe, I promise. It's because I use DuckDuckGo instead of Google. But they always like they always stand with their little with their little hands above, and just like like excuse me, can I ask you something? But otters, possums, raccoons, and and pangolins, they're all in this like this little subcategory of of animals that I like to call fucking cute ass animals because all of them have little hands. See, I love turtles. Turtles are amazing. Turtles are perfect. But the, it it's it's something about those fucking hands, man. Um I I live in a suburb. Like I live in a neighborhood. And in the person next to me in their tree trunk they have two raccoons living there in the person who lives behind my house they have a possum living in their tree trunk there's neighborhood cats that like wander around and then occasionally you will see more than one possum I have had a possum touch my hair. It was very weird. I wasn't expecting it. It, it was quite nice. Um, but yeah, like, it, it's the hands. It's the hands. Like, they're, they're wonderful. They're perfect. 
otter sleeping like otter sleeping is just wonderful and like on that same line of like cute like like cute animals being even cuter absolutely baby possums they always have this this look like like i can't explain it but whenever you see a picture of a baby a uh, baby possum they just they have their mouth open and it's like Meh! baby seals yeah like like baby seals like cute animals being cute like it's always the baby seals when they're just like you would think it would be when the baby seals are looking at you, but really it's when the baby seals have their eyes closed and they just look like nice and cozy and comfortable. And I just, I want to snuggle them forever. They're just so precious. They are like cartoon characters with big eyes. <laughs> they are. They, there's so many animals on this planet that that look like they were just made up. Like someone just drew them. Like you guys know the secretary bird? Is it the, is, is, is she called like a secretary bird? Secretary bird? Secretary bird. Yeah, just a secretary bird. They look like they just divorced their husband and took him for everything he's worth. And they're beautiful. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I love them. Like, like, it looks like she has fish that is talking. They do. They're just like, that, that secretary bird would absolutely tell you that she is 39 when she's probably like 74. She would absolutely tell you she is 39. I know! Oh my god, Synth, like, it's, it, oh, and Fawns, like, it makes me so sad. It absolutely makes me sad, but I understand. And it's not like she's coming after my, my, my baby. <laughs> my babies are safe. I, um, I won't get too graphic, but I, I don't even know where I saw it. Like, you know how you go down a rabbit hole and you like click a link and you click another link and then another one, another one. And like, like two hours later, you have no idea what you were originally looking for. Um, I saw a, an image of two dolphins in the Amazon. I think it was the Amazon with, with an anaconda in their mouths. And there was no blood, there were no punctures or anything, but he was in their mouths and I was like, that's really sad. <laughs> Hollow? Thank you, Hollow, for your rate of 67 people. I appreciate it. Look at you. I'm famous now. Hi. Welcome. Come on in. Happy Noitmas. We are going to be playing Noita very, very soon. This is the first annual Noitmas. Hollow just raided. Queeb. Queeb said hello, hollow. Uh, he's actually getting ready to jump on. Cessny. Cessny? Hi, how are you? The first time I saw a tapir. Tapirs, look, they are some trippy beasts, man. My favorite bird is the blue jay. Oh, I love the blue jay. They're perfect. We're talking about the weirdness of a secretary bird while we wait for Queeb to join us on this first annual anointment. Color blue, my logic's pigmentation. That's how I found out the Amazon sells uranium. Guess it's time to make this game now. <laughs> uh, Abram, we've had, like, I would say, I would say it's probably at least once a day if someone asks while I am in the channel when he's playing Noita. So, Today is actually, it's perfect. Everybody gets Christmas today by way of playing Noita. I keep getting followed by a flock of starling. <laughs> no. I love starlings. They're amazing. We just have a bunch of crows living in the, um, in the, the big tree in front of our house. Like just, I would, I would say it's probably at least 20 to 30 crows. Yes. Okay. Oh, you want to do that today? 
Oh, shit. Okay, uh, don't leave, you guys. He said that he has, like, a fuck ton of epic game codes that, um, he's going to be giving away today. Like, like, imminently. So, go get a drink. Go get a snack. You've got maybe 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes before he joins us. So go do that. Come back. And then we will we will be giving them away. Because it's Noitmas. The first annual Noitmas. The only day of Noitmas. <laughs> Does Amazon sell DeLoreans too? Because without uranium, you can build a time sheet. <laughs> What's sad about that, Abram, is that if if they could make it exist, they would absolutely sell it. It it would be nineteen ninety nine ninety nine, absolutely four thousand percent. You know, old Jeff's gonna try to make some cash off that. Come on. I'm so sad that we we completely we went from like 68 to 130 something. We completely skipped over 69 and we were just all patiently waiting for 69. It's fine. It's fine. We can make more jokes about it later. <laughs> right. I'll travel to the future to the year. Two. I think that's when everything went downhill. I do believe it was 2012. It was either that or uh I don't know. I don't know. When was the biggest downfall? What was it? Was it the Britney and Christina Madonna kiss? Was it Michael Jackson dying? Like, like I'm just, I'm just curious. Like, at what point did did America, did the world jump the shark? In the year two thousand. It made me really sad that they did in the year two thousand as a bit for forever. And then they switched it to the year 3000 and then it was just, it wasn't funny anymore. Do you guys remember that? Like it was just, and they tried to explain it like, no, 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 like, like the year 2000, like, like it's so passe. Now we're going to do year 3000. Like, eh, don't care. When Twitter and Facebook became a leading source of news. Oh my God. It, seriously. I hate that I have this knowledge, Mignon. I hate it. Um, yeah, and and then they started wearing, like they upped the wardrobe, like I, I think before they were just wearing like cloaks, and then whenever they went to year three thousand, like they they started wearing like like silver lame stuff. It was like, did that actually happen, or is this, is this a Mandela effect? I don't know. Oh shit, I don't know. Conan O'Brien, <laughs> year 3000. <laughs> yes! Okay. Okay. It did exist. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. The biggest downfall was when Harambe died. The Harambe thing was so weird, right? It was bizarre. 2020 or whatever, this dumb virus. I'm I'm so over it. Like whenever I see people arguing about whether or not it exists, I'm just like, y'all, it's almost 2022, girl. <laughs> and it has nothing else happened. One of my friends got the uh, a tattoo of Harambe, and I'm very happy. I'm very glad they got it. I wouldn't have, and I didn't. I'm just saying, it's it, it was very niche. And now, like, reality TV, it's not actually, like, reality TV TV. You know what I mean? Like, it's... At, at least, like, back, back in the day, it was more, like, guiding people, like like essentially filming everything and then editing it. And it, and now they have like storylines and, and they give people scripts and yeah, yeah, it's just weird.
being from Europe, we didn't understand anything about Marambe. Like, why did it make such a big noise and everyone? Because that's what Americans do, Fonzie. Like, they seriously just get so involved and invested in tiny little shit because they have their live. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm being completely legitimate with this. There is nothing going on in their lives except at the very least boredom some of them are dealing with like really bad situations and it excuse me it is escapism so like whatever little thing they can fixate on they fixate on it until something else pops up so like it, it just it's literally a blip and it's at least for me, it gets confusing because I'm like, wait a second, we were we were just doing the thing. What happened to the thing? Yeah, we don't have uh, we don't have the cable anymore. We we just stick with like Netflix and uh, Prime. Um, I think HBO Max, and um, and then my friend is letting me use her Disney Plus account. Which the only thing I have used it for is to rewatch all of the Marvel um, Avengers movies in in chronological order, not release order. Which that's been kind of cool. But aside from that, no. Oh my god, MTV. <sighs> MTV. I completely forgot that they do you guys did you ever watch a VH1 classic where they did um don't tell me heavy they did a documentary movie TV thing called heavy the story of metal do I listen to heavy metal no do I listen to metal or rock music of any kind no not like that no did I still watch every fucking second of that? Absolutely. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It was great. The only ones that I have left to watch. I watched Loki and then I watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And so now I need to watch Hawkeye. I need to watch Shang-Chi. Oh, and there's something else. Not Spider-Man, obviously, which I haven't seen, but there's something else. Falcon was so good. It was so good. It was so good. I wish that it would have been shortened. And WandaVision, absolutely. Um, I wish that they would have condensed Falcon by at least a couple of episodes. That way it was like action-packed the whole time. Or they would have have incorporated another storyline that wove into the 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 story. Do you know what I mean? Like there is I I shouldn't feel like I need to fast forward through a point or two. In a Mission Impossible. Oh, I love the first one. It's so good. The second one's amazing with fucking Dugray Scott. Oh. The Look, I've talked to Chad about this many a time, and we can talk about it again. Tom Cruise, say whatever the fuck you want about how about him in reality, but as an actor, he has figured out his niche, he has clung to that niche, and he is amazing at it. They could make 47 Mission Impossible movies. I'll watch every single one. Absolutely, I will. Thanks. The second one, yes! Oh, what? You don't agree? No, because, okay, here's the thing. So the first one, beautiful, impeccable, like, loved it. It was really fucking good. Like, even watching it by today's standards, it's super good. And then you go back. Um, And, like, number two was when... um, Oh, who? Ang Lee, right? Is that the director's name? Hi, Queen. Mission Impossible 2. That was that on? Did I make did, John Woo? I'm sorry. Why did I say Ang Lee? John Woo. 
directed Mission Impossible 2. And it's just, it, it's, it's ridiculous because it's like, it has like the, the doves flying in the background as he walks out of a scene. And it's, that's, what's funny. That's a John Woo Hallmark. Also directed Face Off, which is Cueva Mines, like one of our favorite movies. And again, with the doves flying in the background, like that, that's him. It's like perfect. Um, but Loki was phenomenal. Uh, WandaVision, I really liked it. But I think, I think, especially with WandaVision, is that I, I'm I am a movie Marvel person. I'm not a comic book Marvel person, and so a lot of times they throw in like a, a fuck ton of Easter eggs. And so after I watch an episode of whatever I'm watching, I have to immediately go to YouTube and look for an Easter egg breakdown. And that's how I figured out that. Well, that's how I found out, not figured out that the mini commercials in each episode was actually uh, parlaying back to something from the comic books. That's the only way that that I figured it out. Like, otherwise I, I had no idea. Um, yeah, like like Mission Impossible 2, it wasn't, it, it's, it's not my favorite. The first one is absolutely my favorite, but it's just, it's, it is unique like when he's he's he, he's bouldering the side of the mountain and he has like that dramatic monkey monkey jump and then he has like the very like it zooms in on his eyes and, he, and it plays like the 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 music and it's like it's just very it's very tom don't forget and the I um side by side uh spin out in uh sports cars with tandy newton <laughs> I think one of my favorite yeah. parts is when she um she like obviously has to like go with Duke right like that that's the whole thing she's been recruited and, and you know all that shit and she has to like he wants her to get undressed in front of him and 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 the the guys have like a spy cam or at least like spy hearing and they can hear shit and and Tom is just like oh so mad it's like yeah, of course you you can get mad, dude. You, you sent homeboy's ex girlfriend to him, and she's a hottie. <laughs> of course you're gonna get mad, baby. What do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> Oblivion, Oblivion was great. Um, Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, good movie. That that is that might be my favorite Tom Cruise movie. It's really good. Like. And it, it's one of the rare instances where watching it, I didn't think of it as a Tom Cruise movie. I thought of it as an action movie with Tom Cruise, which doesn't happen. It's phenomenal. So we got, um, I got a bunch of keys to give away for, uh, not Steam, for Epic Game Store, given to me by Jestem, member of the community. Um, how are we going to do this? Just Beard of Fortune? We, but that's the thing. We can't do Beard of Fortune. Why? Because it taps out. Well, there's less than a hundred people here. That's fine. Okay. Um, and even even if so, it's it's a game key. It's not, you know, it's fine. Um, but I don't know how to do this. There's a a bunch of different titles, one key for each. So maybe if you win one and you don't want it. Give it away to somebody else. I think that's the best thing I can offer. It is it is Nightmas after all. Keyword for each game? Nah, nah, look, don't have time. There's there's 30 games here. Oh my god. No. If you wanna if you want an epic game key, random, um go right ahead. I'm gonna be spinning this a bunch of times until we've given them all away. And, uh, and yeah, if, if you don't like it, just, just pass it on to somebody else or, or paste it in, into chat. Someone else will grab it. Okay. Let me scroll back up. Um, Melfina, how are you? My love agents of shield. I haven't watched agents of shield yet. Oh, I, I tried watching. Did I? Yeah, I did try watching agent Carter. I only got a couple of episodes in. And I can't figure out why. Like that's happened twice now. You would think I would love it, and it a just it feels. Agent wrong. Carter. 
Agent Carter. And they made a story of... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a few years old. Um, it was a series. Was it only like one season, maybe two seasons? Like, like very short. New Matrix movie was great. People are nuts. They like what they like. They also like to hate on stuff that... I don't know. It's, it's not what they expected. Go figure, it's 20 years old. I, I thought it was really good, really well done. <clears throat> I do tomorrow. I saw that on a plane ride to Germany. It's such a good movie. I, I, if, if I existed in a time where I actually owned DVD still, I would own like the deluxe director's cut version of that movie. I don't own DVDs anymore. I don't own a DVD player. I don't own a DVD drive. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna grab a random key for Epic Game Store, go ahead and and type something in chat. You'll be added to the list, and then we'll do spins. It's there's not even enough people to give all the games away at the moment. <laughs> seven days to die. Se Whoa, hold hold on. Seven days to die. Save seventy percent on seven days to die open world game that has a unique combination of first world first person shooter survival horror terror tower defense why can't i read today and role-playing games the definitive zombie survival set nope mm -mm -mm. no it's not a not a game for Ms. Queep. Mm -mm. no 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 i learned my lesson with zombies after i tried watching the whole what was it resident evil franchise mm -mm. no I don't care if they're slow moving zombies, don't care if they're fast moving zombies. Darrett, no. Darrett doesn't do epic. He's, he's anti epic. By the way, game of the day today. Fucking Prey. <laughs> <laughs> Free game on, on Epic. If you've got a membership, go grab it. You've got about 12 hours. Thir I saw that. 13, like, 14 oh. hours left? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every seven days in game, a zombie horde attacks you. You know what? I'm good. There's bird zombies in the game too. <laughs> I'm anti epic too, but I do it for free games. There's some youngster here if you've never watched Starship. Oh, Starship Troopers. Yeah. It's so good. Project Zomboy is a fun little game. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they gave Loop Hero away um, a couple of days ago, I think. Uh, I grabbed it. Yeah, it's good. Will I play it? Nope. Probably not. Probably not, but you All know right. what? It's I'm going to start spinning. If you want to join, go ahead and join. Let's do it. We got to do this. Try with two E's. Art. So this is Quivent. Zealousy. First cab off the rank. Congratulations. You win. Mordhau. Rigged. <laughs> oh, fuck. I gotta do this. Can I give you the list, Ms. Queep? And I'll just roll names? Yes. All right, yes, cool. you can. And then what am I doing? Whenever they win, I just give them the next game on the list? Yep. Okay. So Mordhau goes to Zealousy. Okay. Um, if you okay. win again, we'll just keep spinning, I guess, until we get through the list. Zealousy. Zealousy's my baby. I love him so much, yes. Yes, I do. It's not rigged until we see Miss Queeb win like 15 of these, but I know, right? She can't anymore. Mm -mm. Off. She's, she's done. Me. She's ignored. <laughs> Hi, Ob. Uh, congrats, you get End Zone, A World Apart. I wish I could quickly whisper in this. Okay. Um, slash W name will get you there. Oh, by hope again. Uh -uh. <laughs> Strange mannequin. Hello to you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Raven corpse. Yeah. You get Raven. beyond the wire. I'm unable to whisper Raven corpse. Well, Raven Corpse, if you wouldn't mind whispering, um... Raven, please whisper me. Yeah. There, I just said hi. Whisper me, please, so I can give you this game.
just ticked over. Quiet Storm. The Survivalists. Okay, Quiet Storm is given to him. Still waiting on Ravon. Did Ravon? Hi, Raven. Thank you for sending me that. There you go. Chromos. Zealousy again? Fuck off. <laughs> Anime Daddy, where have you been, you fool? What's up, we Anime? It is a little rigged. <laughs> Melfina Starwind. Uh, what game are we up to now? Lacuna? Oh, yes. I love her name. She sounds she sounds like a mystical like fairy witch. Awesome streamer plays tree. Isaac. Yay. Green Arc. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Hi, Jay. Uh, Art Wob Wobble. Art Wobini. Art Wobini. Uh, Eight Doors. Burr, burr, burr. Fonzie and CH. Yes, Fonz! Congrats. We were talking about the super fancy Epicurean subway earlier. I'm very jealous. I'm unable to whisper, Fonzie. Fonzie, will you please whisper me? Uh, Fonzie, Fonzie. Uh, Greek memories of Azur. Yes. Fonzie. Hold, hold. Please hold. Uh, that's rigged. Quiet says the code didn't work. Well, I can't test the code because if I test the code, then like the code will go through. I'm going to recopy it to you and double check it. Okay. Which, which one was quiet? Quiet was the survivalist. If I've given you a code so far, can you please check and make sure it works? For me, this is this is one of the problems with uh, forwarding codes. Like yeah, like just pause for right now. Ravens didn't work either. You, you're putting it into Epic, right? Not Steam. Needs one more set, is what Raven said. Ah oh, fuck! Really? Four? Okay, um, can you copy those names down? Mm -hmm. I will. Uh, I will have to follow up later. I apologize. Okay. Oh, what a bummer! Well, happy, okay. happy Nightmas anyway. We tried. We okay. did. Okay, so hopefully momentarily pause. That's all right. I'll shut it down. I don't have any more letters after that. They're all in the same same right. format. Um, let's see. More. Let's see. Krampus got you all. <laughs> uh, fun. Okay, I didn't send Fonzies because I wasn't. What I needed. How many? To. How many winners did we have just then? Oh. Hold on. We had Jealousy, Pryo, Melfina, Art, Fonzie, Quiet, Raven. Send them all a, a $20 uh, Amazon card. Okay. Fuck the competition. Competition's over. Right. <laughs> Let's play the game. All right. If you guys will give me just a few minutes. Um, actually, for... Did you say Steam gift card or, or Amazon? Um, do Amazon. It's because we can get it over and done with. If you, if I've sent you a message or we've been whispering, <clears throat> will you send me your email address, please? People are saying no, no to that. Don't, no, no. Keep. Don't. Are you? Oi. Okay. If you. If, if you would like you one. 
There you and go. if you would like one, send me your email address. You don't have to like publicly say yes, yes, or no here. Send privately, send me your email address and I will send you a gift card. All right. Congratulations to the six of you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I didn't test the codes uh, because I couldn't, um, but I will be having a word to the person who supplied them. I wish you could test the codes. Frostman with the five gifted. Cypok with the five gifted. Thank you so much. Um, I am going to, I need to go check on dogs. Um, again, if you did win and you do want an Amazon gift card, please email me or, or DM me your email address. I will get it to you. Ms. Queeb, Art Webin. Here, I'll, I just said hi, hi in chat. Just send me the message and I will, um, I will send you one. It won't be right the second, just in a, in a few minutes. I need to go check on dogs. We just hit 702 subs as well. So <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my well, life. We can, let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead. So this one is one of my regular giveaways. Um, the other was just a bonus. This is... Um, Actual giveaway. Yeah. Monster with a five gifted. Thank you, my friend. Noit Miss Train incoming. Fucking yes. Hell. Hi, thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. That's amazing. So this one is a Queeb certified giveaway. We had $25 Steam gift card. Yeah. Yes. We need to be friends on Steam. Um, if you've won before, you cannot win again. We have to wait 48 hours, and that's only if you're in the United States. If you're outside of the United States, we will send you something else. Oh. There's, there's people that stream, like, they just do giveaways nonstop, and I don't know how they do it. It's too stressful. I think it would be fun. Crossman, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Fonzie and Anime Daddy with the thousand bits. Do you know how many rats that is? It's like three. <laughs> it's like four or five rats but thank you seriously that's a lot if you if you won one of the the previous ones in the last six that's on me we're going to wear the cost of that um mm -hmm. this is an extra one you, that's fine don't worry about it emma duo girl thank you for the 100 bits that is amazing i hope i said your name right you if did, I did you got it i get it wrong oh well i used to i said tamanda because I, I, I didn't right? yeah you did you did Nice. Kentai, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Hi. Merry Christmas to you too, brother. Merry Christmas, everybody. Rats around here are insanely priced, but I don't order them. I my Christmas dream was to get like a chest freezer and a place to put it so I can buy more rats in bulk and save money. <laughs> I have no place to put a chest freezer, and I have no chest freezer, which means I have to overpay for my rats. I'm not happy about it. Yeah. Which which is why. There is now a a request for a Rodent Pro gift card on Throne gift li uh, wish list so we can pay for it. Uh, if you're just joining, type in something in chat and uh, you'll get added to the list of people for a chance to win a Steam gift card. 25 bucks if you're in the U.S. And there Are you serious? Are they that much? What what part of the country are you in? Or I guess what part of the world are you in? Holy crap. I, 15 I was each? Bitching, I was bitching about having to pay 2 to $3 each for the big ones. I mean, sometimes I can luck out and I can get the small ones for like 50 cents to a dollar if there's a sale. Yeah. They are uh, they're frozen. We get them frozen, yeah. They come with like a dry ice box. Ken Thernis, have you tried um, Rodent Pro? Like, try them. Alabama, they, really? 15 bucks each? No matter the size? He, it might be someone local that's, like, gouging. We've, we've lost hundreds right now, in the like, last two weeks, if, that's, <laughs> if that was what we were paying. Yeah, like, if we were paying 15 each. I whispered to you about the price, but... Alternative. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, Fonzie. Absolutely. Thank you so much. There's only one place, place called Pet Sense. Mm. Oh, it's like an IRL place. Um, yeah, we order ours online. Yes, you do have to pay um, a shipping cost. However, frequently throughout the year, there is n no shipping fee or it'll be like minimum $40 purchase for mm -hmm. free shipping. All right. We've got 30 more seconds. I'm going to spin the wheel. The whip. I just pray it's no one that's won before or already my Steam friend. That'd be just, oh, amazing. Uh, Rodent 
Espresso is one. Big cheese is another. Um, Rats. For the extra crunch. Uh, there's one. Art. I see you. Hold on. What did you say? Can I sneak a pack of freeze-dried rats onto Taffy's throne list? <laughs> All right, uh, we all ready? Yes, do it. Art, I did get your message. Give me a few minutes. It, it's pretty instant to do, but I need to be on a particular page on Amazon, so just give me a few minutes. I'll get it taken care of. I'd be extra ripped off if I was getting pinkies or small mice. At least medium large rats are a bit better. Anime. King Nesta. King Nesta, truly the king. Deserved. He absolutely deserved that. Uh, I'm assuming you guys are already friends on Steam. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, if not, just add McQueeb and then... Uh, we got you taken care of. Yeah. It'll be like 48 hours. You're in, the, you're in the States, right, King? If you're a regular on the channel, can't they just go ahead and, and friend you? He wants us to Steam? gift it to somebody else. Oh, King, this, thank this you. This dude. He's... I hope I'm not misgendering you. I, I can, I, you are amazing. I love you. Thank you. You're wonderful. You are a friend. To the, he truly, truly a king, a king among kings. Like, it's him. Cypok, thank you so much. Monster86, I think that's a new winner. That or, awesome. Also, I read the name backwards. King Nesta, thank you, dude. I'm going to... King Nesta, I got an idea. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, something something different, something special for you. Aw. Is there a particular page to go to add you on Steam? Mm, I, I always have to look it up. The best way to do it is in Steam, go to Friends, and it'll bring up your Friends list, and then hit the Add a Friend button. And then you can either share a friend code or type a friend's friend code. Oh. Even better than that, you can search for a name down the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and you just type in McQueeb in there. Okay. I just checked. Krona's playing Leaf Blower Revolution. No doubt. <laughs> that just sounds so fun. Oh, and to follow up, Hyperspace Gardener yesterday, who didn't reply immediately, um... I contacted him and we're all good now. He's he's very happy. So that's good. I think that's it. I think we're we're done, right? We're good. Every you know what everybody wants to see you play. Can I bring you a drink or something? I have a drink. I have a gr green like, Red Bull today. Can I bring you a high five or something? You know, I I'll looked, take a high five. I looked for about twenty minutes to try to find you some cranberry Red Bull. Really? Mm-hmm. I even read like a like a crap ton of messages on the Red Bulls uh, subreddit <laughs> to try to find you some. They are on eBay for a crap ton, and I had no idea that I could oh, be yeah. making that much money. Yeah. Um, I saw a four pack of small cans being sold for seventy bucks. I'm like, are you telling me? Are are you telling me I could be a rich woman right now? Yeah. Yeah, you could. It's that's really good. I don't know why they they took. Well, it's money. Obviously, they took it away because of that. But yeah, um, monster, go ahead and add me. And if your name is different, go ahead and um, message me that. If you don't want to say it in chat, that's fine too. Uh, because sometimes names are different. Um, Tamandua, awesome. thank you very much. Hundred bits, Cypok, thank you very much for hundred bits. You both legendary. All right, Fonzie. shall we? Um, should we do this? Yes. Fonzie says, can't wait to see some good Noita gameplay. I literally watched your VOD every night for falling asleep for weeks when I first found and discovered your videos. I'm just amazed about your skill and knowledge about the game. Oh boy, that's a lot to live up to. <laughs> People sell the new Mountain Dew flavors for crazy. You know what? I randomly saw, like, I think it's like a mango or no, it's the melon one. And I grabbed it for Queeb. It's in the, free, the fridge right now. Oh, you got that for me? Mm -hmm. What? What is it? It's like called Melon Madness or something. I thought, it's you, a Mountain Dew melon. I'm not a, I'm not a melon guy. I'll try, it, I'll try it. 
it was, it was either that or regular Mountain Dew. I was trying to be fucking nice. Bring bring it in. Let's let's have I, it. I will, let's have a live will, taste test. I will bring it in and I will give you a high five while I'm over there. KB Warrior, what's up, man? It's oh, watermelon flavored. It's watermelon flavored. He is not gonna like it. You are my friend already. I'll get that taken care of right now. It's pink for girls. Pink for girls? Pink, pink for pink for me. I don't know. What do we reckon? He is going to hate the fuck out of it. He probably will. Watermelon is one of those flavors. It's up there with cherry, banana. Um, what else? Watermelon. Cherry, banana, watermelon. You, you can't replicate that in candy or... or... Yeah, but like... This. Like watermelon flavoring and and like even banana flavoring and like a crunchy candy like runs it's bomb, it's so good. Ah, oh. monster sixty eight. Like, does you. your does your brain equate real watermelon with watermelon candy flavor? Because I equate them as two different flavors. I don't think watermelon candy or drink should taste like that. But strawberry does, raspberry does. <laughs> Lemon does, orange does. The I, fuck I, is I, wrong I, with cherry? Why is no, it, why I, is cherry so broken? Cherries like <laughs> squished down maraschino cherries, not not rich, tart. Is oh, is this his Ocharina of Time rant? Is this his? Because I had mine yesterday. No, I mean like all, all like fruity candy flavors. Like I don't, I don't equate them. I just equate them as like the candy equivalent. Major, look, it's even got a little, like the, the watermelon itself is a major. So he's served time. <laughs> Cephas squid is correct. The banana flavoring, it's based off the bananas that we had. I believe it was like around the 50s or 60s. Is that correct, Sepha? Oh, I can, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Mellow Yellow, don't ring a bell for me with that name. I, oh, I remember Mellow Yellow. How I can do this. It's not, I wouldn't prefer it, but I can do this. You can try it. It has, it has a, very a very weird smell. Oh, it's, it smells like a, like snow cone flavoring. Do y'all know what I mean? When you go to like, go get shaved ice and, and they have like, yeah. It legit tastes like like a snow cone. It's like, do you know? Do you do you guys know what I mean? Like it's that. It's just like like generic, generic fruit, not tropical punch, but like generic fruit. I do not need a controller for this. Its flavor is red. <laughs> that is correct. Its flavor is red. Frostman, don't bring that up. I still have four in the cupboard that... Cucumber that Queen, lemon's good. We got off to that train. I liked it for the longest time. But for some reason, something switched in my brain, as it does. And, mm -hmm. um... And, yeah, I stopped, uh... Sorry to disagree. Cherry taste is amazing. The ones I can't stand are cinnamon. The cinnamon and candies are everything else. Then just caked is, like, super weird. I... I did not know that cinnamon red hots actually had real cinnamon oil in them. Oh, you tell me this. I didn't. And eat, I don't eat cinnamon and I don't actually like the smell. Um, like, it's just, it's not my thing. Um, and I, I discovered red hots and they're amazing. And again, that falls into the category of that flavor does not equate to that flavor in candy. It's, it's, it's a suggestion. It's not like a guarantee. And I once ate an entire box of cinnamon red hots and I lost my, my sense of taste. Like all of the, the cinnamon oil burned my tongue so bad that I could not taste anything for three days. Bottle toke. Hello. Thank you so much. We were talking Six about Six months in the bank. Thanks, dude. 
fruit flavors not equating to their actual like flavor in candy. You ready to experience Noita once again, Miss Queeb? You ready to go into the mines? Get your galoshes. Get your galoshes. Get get your hat. Get your slicker on. Get your backpack. Get your goggles. They still made Gatorade. You know what, Lois? I question the whole Gatorade thing sometimes. Like, my area has been completely sold out. Anime is like, oh my god, it's happening. Anime, you into, you into this game? I didn't know Goulash. that. Goulash sounds amazing, Bottle. So good. Did you know Starburst and Tootsie Rolls are the same recipe of candy, different flavor? First, no. Wait, Starburst and Tootsie Rolls? The chocolate things? Chocolate-esque so, things? So taking the flavor out, it's literally the same thing. as Is that your witchcraft that you're preaching to me right now? Because I believe it. Like, Starbursts are a little softer almost, but I absolutely believe that. I found this website called... Go goagly.com? Yeah. Oldtimecandy.com. And oh, that I, sounds was, fun. I was going to send the link to Queeb to put a gift card on there on our throne wish list. They have, like, they have a thing where you can make a box, right? And so, like, they have literally any, most of the candy we've ever talked about and that we've talked about here, they have it. And I just, I started going crazy. And so, like, literally, there are 74 pieces of candy in this box right now. And it's going to cost me, like, 110 bucks. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let it sit there. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to let it sit there and let me forget about it after a day or two. I, I don't even know what the fuck Brian is. It's like, it's like salt water. What the fuck do I want that for? No, it's like, not just salt water. It's like, like, like see like like super salty brian is um i think is it just salt that's been diluted as like the... this is some yeah i don't know the, the technical stuff i going want on. to understand the technical because i'm i'm starting to get into like learning about perfumes what the fuck and, is like... that thing oh it's you i haven't seen you in years and uh, that is a a, a, a a qualifier. Art. I did say that I had seen it. Yes, you're not bothering me. Uh, Brian me. Oh my god, are you bothering Miss Queeb? <laughs> Literally the worst. Oh, I like this definition. Water saturated or strongly impregnated with common salt. Wrongly mm. impregnated. Somebody had a good night. Oh, you didn't need a bomb. Guess you did. Guess you needed a bomb. Alright. We're still going here. We're still going. How about some health? We're not doing we're not doing no hit runs tonight, that's for sure. I heard my record has been not just broken. <laughs> Fucking destroyed. I have like four of you talking to me in whispers. Like, like, bear with me. I'm my ADHD is like it's really out of control right now. So just give me a moment. Like you're all cool, but like, like, just give me a moment. Vile, vile cat. What a name! I love that name. Hi. Thank you so much for for uh, tuning in on this our first and only annual Noitmas. I do love the fact that this game doesn't have a time limit. 
well I mean the time limit is how long can you survive but it's a, it's a lot less stress There's something about drinking polymorphine now, right? Or eating something that makes you immune to poly. I heard a rumor. Word on the street. Oh, we have a wand in a chest. These Santa fuckers are strong. Eh, not that strong. Mexican food is a mood. Oh my god, why did you say that? Why would you say something so horrible? Um, alright, sorry, catching up on these. So, I have someone messaging me, they didn't say it in chat, so I don't know if they want me to say their name, but they said that they are a huge fan of your Noita play, and they are from Brazil. Welcome from Brazil. Great to have you here, thanks for tuning in. Happy Noitmas to you, friend. We can, we can keep calling it that. I like it, it's cute. Uh, this is a really bad recharge time, huh? It's worth taking for these though, I think. Oh no, I've forgotten so much about this. Pseudo Bim for our Brazilian friend. I hope I said that right. I went to school and learned Spanish awfully. I did not learn Portuguese. My dogs are freaking out. Why aren't you paying attention to us? I'm doing admin stuff, yo. So you can do you can do a fungal shift to get rid of Polly? Like like delete Polly from the world? Isn't that really risky? Yes. And you do that by eating fungus, I think. Yes. That was almost death. Try that again. It will shift what you've usually what you've held usually. Huh. I, I, I don't know if I'll try that. Maybe we'll do it later. It's kinda of coming back to me. It's one of those things. It's like riding a really fucked up bike that your mom got you for Christmas, but it was on sale. But it was on sale because it was recently recalled and Kmart wasn't willing to send it back to the manufacturer. Even though they'd get fully re reimbursed for it. Kmart. Yeah. Abram, uh, you build wands and you're like a little witch and you like have to kill stuff. Yeah, somebody mentioned um, Terraria earlier. It is not... I mean, visually, yeah, sure, but outside of that, no. It is, um, it is very much an action game. Oh, I'm in a place I shouldn't be. Probably time to leave soon, I think. Done. Yeah, Miss Creep, just just fill me in later about what I need to uh -huh. do. No, I think that's that's it. I have no more email addresses. We are good. We're good. Okay. 
I need to go take a break and go deal with the dogs. Oh, before I go, uh, L read verified, I read verified, said I'm currently having a very interesting run. My main source of healing is the minigun wand, not the spells on it, but the brass it ejects because I shifted it into healthium. Huh. That's really that, fucking clever. <laughs> not I'll ever experience that one again. Gru, hi Gru, says Noita is a die suddenly after being on top of the world simulator. Icehawk, this is his first, uh, his first time back at Noita since he... When did you play it? Was March. it April, I believe? I, well, it Steam, it Steam, when I put it on last night, Steam said, do you want to sync your files? And it was from March 30. Okay. Oh, that's real bad. Fuck. Maybe it's not bad. It's probably bad. What would you say the objective for this game is? Asked Abram. Hard to say. There is a, there is a boss, but... He has a gift launcher with snow in it. Got anything other than snow? Just curious. Um, there's there is a like an end boss, but that's like by far and away the easiest boss there is. There's a bunch more I haven't even fought yet. Fonzi said, "Steam asked, are you sure you want to do that again, bro?" <laughs> Next run, no damage run, lol, said anime. Anime daddy! I do love me some anime daddy. What's not to love? His, his child loaf misses him dearly. Come get him, please. Alright, I am, uh, I definitely have to go check on ducks now. I will be back momentarily. Okay. Thanks, Miss Queeb. Happy night, miss. Oh, this ain't good. We're going down. We're going down. All right. First floor done. We going fungal? Fuck yeah, we're going fungal. Uh, I'm keeping that. I'll ditch it if I need it. Can you carry multiple ones? Yeah, four. Well, technically more if you cheese it, but yes. Two ten fifty twenty five H. It's not bad. A little bit slower. Uh, maybe this one. Let's have a look. Versus it's point seven five, but faster shots. Longer cooldown, bigger pool. It's probably more manageable. One degree of spread, one degree of spread. All right, that's our primary. Just dump that. Oh, my poor dog. Listen, listen to that. Listen, it didn't. You never feed me. I'm so m mistreated. Rain cloud. Yeah. I kind of want to keep this, but at the same time, I don't know. It's got teleport on it. For 120 bucks? And a trifurcated. Oh boy. Can I afford both of those? I could. What's our perk sitch? What the fuck is that? Iron stomach. You no longer suffer negative effects from eating. Sounds good.
Who did it? Thank you, uh, Lewis. Appreciate it, man. All right, we're going to do a little bit of a shuffle here. Eighty three max. It's a bit rough. Ten, twenty five each, triple, one. Get a couple on there. Or is it double there? All right. Makes four fireballs rotate around a projectile. We'll keep that for later. Probably don't need two of them, right? No. Very basic wand, but should do. Check out that speed though. It's not bad. Nice. This iron stomach allow you to drink poly. Let's have a look. Yep. Doesn't make me immune though, but I can eat it. Alright, so we no longer need these for the moment. Keep another one of those, get rid of that. Keep that. One teleport wand, please. What's the cost on that? 40. And one something else. I should probably ditch some of these so that we can actually collect some stuff. Oh, I can add that, can't I? That's a... This work. Did I get that wrong? It is a wrapper, I think. Oh, I'm, re I'm real bad with one building, always have been. Explosives. All right, cool. Maybe I'll be back. Maybe I won't. Bolt light bifurcate. Ah, shit. Pretty. <laughs> I don't know if it's better or not. <laughs> oh, get fucked on. TNT, dope. I like it already. And a proper double cast. Yeah, we're going to head left. Left is always the way. Uh, except when it's too dangerous and you can't go left. Look at that. It looks like there's a face in the wheel. It's not, not a very happy face. It looks like the... One of the meme face generator things. Ow. Well, this wand is certainly doing its job. That's lava. Why not three shots? Uh, the amount of mana the wand has, maximum's 83. Um, we'd be over budget on that and it wouldn't work anyway.
we would need 86 total for our current build. 87. You always follow the rule of right. <laughs> I did the same thing in um, in Isaac when I don't have a map or yeah other other games. I learned that back in the day playing Wolfenstein 3D. You get used to visualizing walls and shit. All right, this place is just as friendly as always. Is that a skeleton? Are they normally here? Nah, no way. Oh, it's an angry blob. We can shoot this indefinitely because of the speed of recharge. But yeah, the max... Uh, is a is a pretty significant limitation there. Acid ant. Hey, dick. Swapper. Okay. Cool. Best way to deal with them? TNT, good call. Oh no! This ain't good. This ain't good at all. Fuck, I hate them. I have hated them forever. Tentacle guy is super nasty. Do a fungal shift for the memes. It's my first run back, baby. <laughs> Let's go slow. Everybody's just jumping on here. Like, no damage run, right? Yes, no damage run. We got some decent spells. Death Cross alone would be worth it. We get a damage up. Quite nice. Oh, okay. We'll go down. Do I want to go down? No, not really. Twenty-one charge speed, but the drills though. So drills can carry damage. They don't do damage of their own. Oh, they do now. They always done damage. Well, either way, we'll take that. That's decent. I could actually backtrack to the main part of the level and um, teleport mage and collect some cash. Do I want to see what that is? Like I do, but this is fucking risky. You and I both know it. It's monies! Oh, fuck. Okay, cool. That's fair. No idea what happened. Oh, no.
51. <sighs> Why not use TNT? See my previous statement. It's my first run back, dude. I haven't played this in like almost a year. And it's not a game that you will be playing again, probably ever. Probably. Never. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe next year. So it's fine. Just let, give, give him some space. He, he, he has to get back up on the bike first before he can ride it. Come on, guy. He a little baby. He old tiny. He has to learn again. They have really good spells. I'm tempted to switch out the shotguns for those. What do we get from those? What's the damage? 10 each. No, no, maybe not. Costs less to cast, but that's about it. We could get three of them, but there's only two on there, McQueen. Oh. I need... What melts this? The blue shit. I don't have any blue shit. How the fuck do I get out of here now? I don't want to go down. She, uh, he just really got bored with the game. To be honest, it wasn't very fun to play. Uh, so he took some time off from it. It's been, yeah, definitely burnout. Um, but he, he put in well over a thousand hours of just gameplay on this game, not to mention actually watching it. So he's bringing it back for everyone who asked if you would play it. Uh, so they get it today and then m maybe it's a Christmas tradition. Maybe we never speak of this day again. Who knows? So what you're saying is it's a queen vent miracle that he's playing again. So people <laughs> should be happy and free. Yeah, we're just here to hang out and have fun. Uh, you're not coming through, Miss Queen. Wait, why am I burning? Did I just hit something burning? Can everybody still see me? Nope, I'm... I dropped.
All right, so it is just a waiting game. Things back up. Yeah, I'm not in the and I'm not in the stream and people are saying it's not up. Are we on? Yes. No. Hi, we're back. Oh my god. So mad. Of course, of course it happened the one night that Quee decided to go back to Noida. See, this is why we don't play Noida in this house. No more Noita. <laughs> yes, I pop grabbed the I am first and best. Yes. Junko, hi, hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, give Quee just a second. He darted off to the ladies room. Was it one of the dogs who bit the front finger? <laughs> he absolutely would. He was... Um, I actually had to put him back in the kennel for timeout because he's uh he's a little angry today. We're like, oh no, 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 no. Junko, hello, everybody. We are back. Don't say no more Noita, please. At least <laughs> we will absolutely play um, more Noita tonight. I am unsure if we will be playing anything else. I think especially after we got knocked offline, we're just gonna. If Queen gets fed up and wants to play a little Isaac, so be it. That will be your Isaac must. Isaac must. Is there such thing as Isaac must? Yes. Yeah, so you will get Noit must, Noit must, and Isaac must. But right now, just Noit must. Elemental, you are absolutely not. At the very least, you're like third from last. Danko, that's great. Very, very cool. And someone said, who was it? Pat. Pat said, I just got Isaac. I've been learning all the intricacies, but I feel like I need the mods McQueeb has. I think he has a command for mods. I'm not sure how to access it. Will that work on this game? Okay, he said, just do command mods. So let's do that. There we go. So bit.ly slash McQueeb mods. That will be all of the mods that he plays for Isaac. Hopefully that helps. Oh my goodness. That, that was some stress. Just a little bit of stress, but we're all good. Everybody's fine. I just checked on the snakes. The snakes are good. The dogs are good. Um, yeah. Everybody go go potty. Go get a beer. Go get if you don't drink a beer, go get a soda. If you don't drink soda, go get a water. Go do something. We will be back. We'll be better than ever. Oh, go cheese. Oh, that sounds good. I have a a thing of camembert in there. Um I might have to bust it out, maybe caramelize some onions. Roast some garlic. I think that would be very good needed some me time away with family so here I am. very nice Tenko. we've had a bunch of people in here tonight like that um it it is it is the season that's all i will say it is the season yes it's so good um i tried it last uh, a, like a month ago for thanksgiving i tried it with what is it it's like fig preserves or it's either preserved or marmalade. It's one of the two. Um, and what else? And the garlic. And that was pretty good. It was very sweet, though, with the uh, with the preserves. Like a simple sandwich of camembert, apple, and nuts. Yes, toast that bread. I have had the spicy jelly with cheese. It's so fucking good. It's amazing. Um, I found... Hold. Please hold. I found this recipe and I, I'm not a bread maker. I don't make bread, 
Um, but I found this recipe and it looked amazing, but it looks like it doesn't make that much bread. Like it's supposed to be like crispy, crunchy rolls filled with some kind of cheese and, and garlic and onion mixture or something. Something like that. Oh, I can't access it here. Uh, oh, let's just go there. Let's click profile. We'll click faves. But yeah, like I don't, I don't know enough to to be able to say. Oh, it's Turkish boyos. Oh, that just sounds good. Just that crunch. How do I do this? How to do this? Send it to my messenger. Send to messenger, and then. I will grab the link and then I will post it. All right. Like just the crunch alone from that video right there. Like she makes some kind of onion caramely thing and, and she spreads it and, and rolls it up. But what threw me was that she made all of these like little balls, but they only made like Three, three or four rolls. So I got confused. Like, do I need to combine? No! Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Why does it have a plus after it? Try that. See if that works. It's, um, the account is called Hot Dog from Hell. <laughs> Hot Dog from Hell. Hi, Joel. Hi, it's Ms. Quee. We are waiting for McQueen to join us. We had a very slight interruption. My wife is a pastry chef. Loaves that aren't big are great for two because otherwise a full loaf is too much to eat. Right. And like, if I, uh, if I have a loaf of bread, I will eat all of the bread. It doesn't matter how big the loaf is. I won't want to save it. I want to eat it all. Imagine myself and my dad just dipping the old cheese that smells when you put on bread with pepper and hot chocolate of coffee. That does sound amazing. Holy shit. With all the Christmas money I got, I can buy Isaac and it's DLC. That's amazing, Junko. Congrats. Second link works. Yeah. Joel, thank you so much for hanging out with us, even for a little bit. That's so super cool of you. Thank you. Um, happy Noitmas. Merry Noitmas. Hope you have a very good Noitmas night. Uh, yeah. We'll get back to Noida in just a moment. Some months left over. That is perfect. That's amazing. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. If you couldn't have a good Christmas, I hope I hope it wasn't terrible. And I say that as someone who purposely stays away from family at this time of year. Like, I know exactly what it is. Dace. Hi, Dace. Hey, Dace. Uh, today is Noitmas. We are playing Noita for today and today only. Queeb normally does not play Noita. He walked away from the game back in March. So he hasn't played it since March. It's been several months and he is a bit rusty, but it's okay. Probably will not pick it back up after this, but everybody has requested that he play. So we are playing. Looks like the bread they make in Albania, like Balkan, Borak, filled with meat or cheese. That sounds really good. Fluffy and, cr yes, yes, the fluffy crunchy stuff. Dipping fresh white bread into olive oil and having a piece of cheese alone. Oh, yeah. That sounds wonderful. Pesto braided bread is my go-to holiday loaf. Maybe I will make some bread tonight. We are back. We are back. Hueblet, it's here. Oh, that wasn't stressful at all. Hey, <laughs> perfect end to 2021, am I right? At least we haven't lost power yet. Hold, hold on one second. I think it was Ice Hawk. Ice Hawk, if your wife is around, will you get her to look at that second link I sent? It has, I believe it has like the recipe for that bread. Will you like, I doubt she, uh, I don't know. Like if she can, will you see if she can like figure out how big of a recipe that is? Like it's 500 grams, I think of, of bread flour. I think we would really like those, uh, those rolls. What so you I want to make them. It's it's called like Turkish boyas, and it's basically fluffy, crispy bread rolls. 
and it has like some kind of filling. Oh, I'm down with whatever. But the recipe I found. You had me at bread. I know, right? I, I, I'm not, I'm not a pastry chef, so I don't know. Are you plugged in? Are you muted? No, you're good. Test, test. Uh, no, I'm not. Gray, double check. If you guys can hear, can you drop an emote? Thank you, Ice. I appreciate it. Um, okay, we're good. Spectator. Hello, Spectator. Yeah, so with the recipe, I'm not sure how much it makes. I don't know if it only makes like like three little things or if it makes like a lot. So I wanted to confirm the uh, measurement. Cat, I've, I've made bread once. It was really good. Um, I made it like at the beginning of the, the panini press that we're currently in. Um, and Kui wasn't into it. And I, I tend to like walk away from stuff if he doesn't like it. And that's just trauma. <laughs> that's all that is, it's trauma. Um, and especially because he didn't eat it. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. I won't make it anymore. But I really want to try this recipe. And if he doesn't like it, he can go fuck himself respectfully, of course. As should be the case. Gal best bread is with Galician bread. Galician bread. I'll fight anyone who says otherwise. You know, if you tell me something, I'm going to have to look it up, you guys. Will we be doing a New Year stream? Well, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going right through. Queevent has been extended an extra week, so we're going right through. There'll be another seven, seven, six games um, selected by Ms. Queep to be played over the next week. Uh, finishing on New Year's Day, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So that does look amazing. Like, absolutely. So I'm just farming for gold here. I'll probably end up dying as a result. But hey, it wouldn't be annoyed if that didn't happen. Right? Hatback says... I think I missed it. What is the digging wand or spells you are using? To dig? That's just drills. Like, literally, drills. A shitload of them. Onzi, check your DMs, giving you recipes of things you would love in Europe you can cook or bake. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Please send them to me in DMs. Uh, fresh bread with crusty outside and soft chewy inside. Some rosemary. Olive oil. Whoa, Tetris! Thank Tetris, you so thank much. Thank you, dude. And gifted. That's very kind. Thank you. Olive oil, rosemary, red pepper flakes, and sea salt mixed together. That sounds amazing. Cat says, just bake it and don't share with him. Are you kidding? I would have to eat all of it because if I try to save some for myself, he will eat it overnight. I know this man. Can't hide anything from me in this house. <laughs> You need to search for Bolo Prignato with red chorizo inside. Holy crap, that sounds good. Oh my god. I would have to say, if somebody gave me the preference, if they said you could only have chocolate or bread for the rest of your life, like you still get all the other kind of foods, but you had to choose between like eliminating chocolate or eliminating bread, I would give it a chocolate. I am mm -hmm. a bread girl. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls love bread. I've got some sourdough starter from my dad that he got from his dad that's at least 150 years old. Are you kidding, Ant? That's amazing. Holy shit. Like, I, and that's something that I'm, I'm only just starting to look into, like making my own sourdough starter. I was like, oh, that's easy. I can do that. Sure, why not? And like 150 years old. Damn. Just checked with the wife. 500 grams of flour is the same amount of bread as six bagels, so maybe half a loaf. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ice, and thank her as well. I really appreciate it. Hi, Dark Side. How are you? Nesta would keep bread. So would Malfina. Bread with small bacon bites in it is amazing. Put Parmesan in really small bacon pieces. That sounds good. You know the rolls you get? Uh, some shops call them Kaiser rolls. Mm-hmm. Round yeah. rolls about this big, fuckload of cheese on the top. <laughs> oh my god! I just so you good. don't need anything on them. Just mm -hmm. that's it. Done. A raised chocolate bread is delicious. Merry Christmas, Dark Side. Thank you for joining us. Making cheese is fun too. Oh, that I'm sure that's 
that's a whole thing. Like right now, I just finished making um, fermented garlic, and that like I can I can handle that. That that was kind of easy. Like it, it it's a little bit too many details, but I was able to like like narrow it down so I felt okay. Um, and so next I'm gonna try bread. We're we're gonna try that, and we'll we'll work our way from there. Unreal, he got tinker with. Yeah, it's, um, it means we can fix all this shit on the fly as we're running around the levels instead of having to do that in here. It's really cool. Projectile modifier. A projectile orbits the point of its origin. Oh, Imagine. yeah. Right. looking bread Swiss braided bread what Fitzy Merry Christmas hmm. Merry Christmas Happy Christmas Merry Noitmas Merry Queedmas fermented garlic is yum pickled eggs are good too it's it so, dude that sucks man are, are, are you is there any is that like breaking some agreement that she's doing or is she just being a fuckwit sorry Miss Queed go on no you're fine and Kitsith, I'm very sorry about that. I hope everything works out, truly. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I learned how to make fermented garlic, which is like, not only is it super tasty, but it's like very good for your gut health and it helps like with colds and, and stuffiness. I made some with chili and ginger and that smells amazing. I can actually start using it um right now it is two months old so i'm i'm actually okay to start using it now but i'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and i'm gonna make some more or was it sweet swiss braided bread breaking the law literally that's awful i'm very sorry yeah people that put kids use their kids as uh, weaponize their kids as fucking mm -hmm. just Those i hope you don't mind saying trash humans no they're trash it's very cool of you to not have the police take the kids away because they'll remember I mean, that more than mm -hmm. yeah but depending on how small they are you i mean you can still when you get them back you can actually do a christmas it won't be on Christmas, no, but you can do your own Christmas. And then years from now, hopefully that's when they find out about what their mom did. McQueeb is getting the streamer luck right now. Butter Zopf? Is that what it's called, Fonzie? Butter Zopf? Well, that I've heard of that. It I've, looks delicious. I've probably even had that, yeah. Let's be good for the final boss. And I also made pickled onions and that was pretty phenomenal. I think next time I'm going to dice them instead of just having them in like slices. Not sure how to translate empanada. It's two layers of bread stuffing. I like the Galatian octopus empanada or the empanada de bonito. Tornado is a North Sea tuna species. Empanadas are delicious. I'm I'm sure the Americanized version is like much, much different and much better. I've never had a traditional one, but there is a place in LA um, that is just like, yeah, some of the best shit you'll have. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's so good with something called I don't know how to say that word. C E N O V I S. Holly McQueeb, a mysterious second person name background. How are you? What are you up to? Hi, Arash. Uh, my name is Miss Queeb. I am uh, married to the streamer. I'm helping him manage chat. It's my wife. <laughs> uh, we spread. I guess it maybe spread. Oh, there it is. I don't know how to say it. it's it's Cinovus. Is a product based on yeast extract similar to Marmite and Vegemite.
There's that fucking pollen thing again. Let me check this real quick. Queeb is a huge fan of, uh... Is it... Which one do we have in the cupboard? Vegemite, Vegemite? or Marmite? I have Vegemite, yeah. I haven't had it in forever, but yeah. I do... I do like it a lot. I it's... Well. It's good. You, hmm. you can't spread it like you would peanut butter. And that's that's the mistake people make. It is the yeah. thinnest. Think think thermal compound on a CPU thin. Like I'm not I'm not being facetious. You need the smallest, smallest amount. Um They're young, five and four. She's a trash human. I failed to see flags or failed to take advisement from friends. Live and learn but Been there myself, my dude. Luckily, no, no uh, little children were involved. I think the good side of this is that because they're so small, as long as you keep things out of sight for them and away from earshot, there is a chance that they're not going to view it as shitty. Like they're not going to view anything as horrible. They may have like a wonderful upbringing if the two of you can just kind of keep it away. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to say you guys have been a part of my mental health recovery over the last week. Thank you so much for all you do. I love you both and keep happy and safe in this fucking nightmare of a world. You're... Kitsa, thank you so much. That's so super cool of you. I hope... That's why we're here, dude. Every... I hope everything works out for you. Seriously. Truly, I do. Fucking comments like that, too. Place in Chicago that just started making impossible meat empanadas. What the hell? Really? Damage modifier. Hmm. Queeb tried his best to get us. Queeb tries his best to keep us distracted from Miss Queeb's conversation. I'm sorry. I can be quiet. I promise I can. If you no, stop. That's, you're you're here. I keep saying you're you're part of this fucking stream, and you, you're not stepping on my toes. All I have to. I'm talking about gameplay anyway. People can see what's going on. Why am I do this? Thank you so much. You are perfection. You are a delight. Thank Seriously. you. Why am I do this? Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, dude. More of this pollen. I've seen this pollen fucking everywhere. Butter, mm. just a bit of bread. I've seen French or Canadian YouTube Trespass products. They Can you tell me how to pronounce that, Fonzie? And it's like, hey, it's gonna be tasty on bread. They put on so much, they make that crazy face. Uh, Elemental, I wanted to um, reach out to you at some point as well. Same, it's what I was talking about with King Nesta earlier. Um, you folks have been so, so supportive of the channel. It's kind of unreal. Same as Cat Template. Um, like, mm -hmm. I wanted to offer you something special for the channel. Um, we'll, we'll talk in private about it. The why am I do this says Merry Christmas from me and the wife. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Fer Merry Queebmas. Merry Noitmas. 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 Uh, it's after someone mentioned that my proxy my kids go through needless bullshit, but it's near impossible to keep them protected. You know what, Kitsith? You're you're doing amazing. Seriously. We love you and thank you so much for everything that you've done for the channel. I'm sorry you're going through that. Hopefully it hopefully it doesn't have a huge impact on you or the kids long term. I never knew my parents would argue because they never did it in front of me. They would discuss. Mine wouldn't do that. Mine would like I was actually somewhat lucky in that my my father would kind of power down whenever my mother my mother was absolutely like a screamer and like the abuser. I know. Um, and so he knew. And now as an adult, looking back, I know he knew not to engage with her. And I, I'm so thankful that, that he did not do that. Because, yeah, like on her end, it was very erratic. But on his end, like actually seeing an adult like it's one of the only cool ass things that he did for us 
piece of shit human otherwise and in other regards, but he did try. More more of them eat it makes for the best seasoning. And put it in vinaigrette. I mean Elemental says I need nothing in return, but I do appreciate the thought. We will talk. Lois says full of pollen spring is months away. Hmm, suspicious climate change in Noita, maybe. Is it a silent Noit? Why am I do this? Why, why do you? <laughs> I just got that. I was like, why, why do what do you mean you? a silent? And then I started saying the word without hearing the word in my head. Like, what do you mean silent? Oh, I get it now. I get That's very clever. That's very clever. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's 10 internet points right there. One, he's not in here. He's been doing dad jokes every day. He hasn't been in today. Oh, please don't. No, mm -mm, I can't. I think, I think his name starts with E and D and it's like, but it, they are good to like break tension and just kind of like, like lighten the mood. They're so stupid. I love them. Gathered all the knowledge achievement unlocked. What? I mean, gathered all the knowledge. Say novice. Say novice. Like that, Fonzie. Your curiosity is rewarded. Yeah, it only gets <laughs> rewarded a couple of times. After that, you get <laughs> fucked. I'll oh. keep one. I'll keep one. Here we go. Melfina says, IDK, I think we are all noity. <laughs> and I love it. It's like a proud, proud dad right now. <laughs> it's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted my noitmas to be. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Just a little bit, tiny bit, just a, just a smooch. I just wanted to see my my tree tree achievements. I'm probably missing a bunch, or like all of the new bosses, probably. My Christmas started like a week ago. I got offered and accepted my dream job. I'm now starting in January. They're helping me finish my bachelor's degree. What? Hat back. That, that's fancy. You're too cool to hang out with us. Shit. What's this hand? Who's that random hand, man? When is it that a regular joke becomes a dad joke? When it becomes a parent? <laughs> Bamalam. So stupid. <laughs> So, so watching um, Man vs. Game, somebody messaged me. They recognized me in, in Man vs. Game's chat. And they said, I don't know if you saw this. And I, I didn't at the time. But he, Man vs. Game is playing Noita. Um, mm -hmm. And this statue here was given or was placed in um, honor of somebody that did an extremely difficult challenge. It took like a week or two weeks to for him to even complete the challenge. Mm -hmm. And... Um, that creator's name was Bamalam, and apparently this here, this language here, it says Bamalam. Um, Is this a Black Betty joke? I, maybe that's where his name comes from. Anyway, this was this was th like Nola Games tribute to him, right? You count the numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-seven. I don't know it's a lot of bosses, and you need to do many. Like loops, essentially, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's why it took so long to do. And and the final boss um, had billions and billions of HP, like a ridiculous number. Um, so he did that. And he was the first person to do it. And so they, they honored him and left this shrine here. And man spent close to an hour, I think, trying to figure out what that is uh it was it was pretty fun 550 
two for all the 554 orbs. I don't exactly know the history, but um, there's a clip on Man's channel. If if I don't know if Bam's seen that or not, it's fucking cool. Because that's what Man does. He he gets a puzzle, and uh, if he can't immediately solve it, he he just sits there and just goes through it. And chat was really good. Chat shut their mouth. They didn't say a word about it. And he's like trying to figure out a puzzle, which is not even a puzzle. Fonzie said, Noit my type of jokes, I'd say. <laughs> so stupid, I love it. Where's the acid but voice? to say goodnight you say boas noites so people say boas noites um does the evil eyeball always spawn there oh i have no idea i know i know you need it for one of the bosses i don't know if i've even killed it if i did it would have been like a, a cheesy run or, or i just stumbled upon him chat was probably walking me through that at the time mm -hmm. but i don't i don't know i can't remember I love you says, I think they want the music boxes placed neatly. Pat says, super exciting, Fair. going to be programming a lot of the electronics for autonomous vehicles. That is baller. That is super cool. Seriously, congrats. That sounds dope. So keep in mind, I'm a French speaker. First, learn English by myself. And then... Really, Fonzie? That's amazing. Whenever I hear people talk about learning English through watching shows or, or stuff like that, it, it's so damn impressive. Like, uh, Mila Kunis, she learned English by watching The Price is Right. Is it Kunis? Kunis, yes. Huh. Like, the, she said that, like, she binge watched daytime TV and Price is Right was, like, her favorite thing to watch. And, and that's that's one of the ways she learned how to speak English. I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty badass. Did she learn to yodel, too? I don't know, but I I love that fucking mountain climber song. It's so good. Like the whole the whole Price is Right soundtrack. There used to be a soundboard. I'm not sure if it still exists. Of like every sound. You know it exists. It, it did not have the one song that I've been looking for, and it makes me cry. Quiet. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on this beautiful night, Miss Noit. We appreciate you so much. Another. Thank you. Haha, ha, Silma. Bonzi says trying to find puns sometimes is hard because I'll first think it in French. What would a French pun be? I'm curious. Ava, hi! Thank you for coming in. Elemental, so speaking of French and puns, it seems like you're having. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to say that. What is it? Joy. What it? What is Y E U X? What is that sound? Um. I forget. It's like I'm get, sure ghetto, joyo. Joyo. Maybe I don't know. No well, no I tell. Isn't, the puns isn't, don't work if we can't say it. Isn't Noitel a phone brand? Next tap. Joyo, it's correct. Joyo, Mitel. My, Mitel. I, I used to administer them. Like, it's an old, old phone system. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember Mitel. Yeah. <laughs> Frenchman, does it take to eat an egg? One is an oaf. <laughs> I, l I love dad jokes. I love them. They're just so stupid. Not sure if I want my sub. My sub went through the chat, but did you sub? I don't think I saw it on my end. But thank you, absolutely, thank you. Ah, Patback. No, I, I did not. 
I, I see you're subbed. Ava says I'm French. I can't even come up with a good French pun. Shaking my head. What do you call a large pile of kittens? A meowton. I would call it love. That's what I would call it. I fucking love kittens. You're so funny with the kittens. Like... I heard you talking I, about the reason I wanted, um... I forgot the fucker's name. Murph? Murph. Your child? Why I wanted Murphy over here. Yes. And it's because of my connection to Teddy, and he seems like he shares a lot of the same traits. That's why. Oh yeah, he's like, he's your kid. Like... We've... We've talked about this before. With the with this the the snakes, we've I told Queeb I first wanted a snake. I I had a deposit on Huxley before he hatched. Basically like my pit, right? Um I had him picked out of a photo. He's the one I wanted. He was picked by the person who was first on the list had my heart broken a little bit i'm like okay fine whatever she backed out and got a different snake so i got huxley which is exactly what i wanted queeb named huxley there it is thank you thank Pat you Frank. for this um feora queeb picked feora we both picked her name I that was actually your one of your suggestions and i we did I... research and we were like the superman's um like lieutenant and we were like, yeah, that's but fucking badass. We went through like 50 names. Like you shot down most of the good ones, which is fine. I, it, there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay I to shoot down, down the good ones if you pick the best one. That is, that is that's, true. That's my logic right there. So uh, I picked Huxley. Quee picked his name. Quee picked Faye. We picked her name. I picked Teddy. And I guess, like, we couldn't figure out what to call him because we were going to name him after uh, someone who subbed, like, they gift subbed a, a crap ton in the channel. Um, and so, King Nesta! Do we have to name a snake after you? <laughs> Thank God you, dude. It, Thank right? you so much, 20 gifted. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um... Teddy was named after... How do you say his name? Nathrakis? That was Teddy's middle name. Uh, yes. Yeah. But I got the name Teddy from Ms. Prixie. Um, uh, uh, uh No, no. Nope. Oh, no, I, I said Teddy was one of his potential names, and she was like, that's the name. No, nope. A hundred percent. I've got the conversation saved on Discord. I named Teddy, Teddy, because he reminded me of one of those Velveteen toys that they came out with around the time of Velveteen Rabbit. They had teddy bears and rabbits that came out, and Teddy had a very specific feel to him. Hmm. And he felt like one of the Velveteen rabbits, so I named him Teddy. Um, Queeb picked out Ripley. Queeb named Ripley. I got the bonus snake because I felt bad for him. Queeb then claimed Ripley as his, and I was going to have the little boy. Queeb then claimed the little boy and named the little boy. And then I walked away with the bonus snake. You walked away with? I did. And I named him, no. which his name is still pending. Wait, no, no, no. The, the bonus snake was... I forgot. When we were supposed to pick up Murph? So, so we got Ripley, and at the time that I purchased, I, I got, uh, Baby Boy, and we called him Baby Boy. Okay. I went to go pick up Baby Boy a couple of weeks ago, and that's when we got Bonus Baby. Because, like, I looked at him, he's actually Huxley's half-brother. He's beautiful, gorgeous, I love his face, like, like... Bonus Baby was 20 times the price. We won't, we won't mention that, it's fine. He wasn't 20 times the price. Murphy was 40. Bonus was 400. 
Ten. I'm sorry. Ten. All right, hold on. Let me flip back through the chat super quick. Uh. By the way, if you're if you're curious where your sub money goes. <laughs> it it go it goes to snakes. We don't drink. We don't party. We don't do drugs. We don't smoke. We don't even smoke pot. Uh, we don't go out to dinner. We don't go to clubs. Anything like that. What do we do? We we snakes. buy games and snakes. Uh, the point is supporting my favorite creator. Thank you, Pat. Seriously, that's amazing. Uh, we do the same using word to me. We like we like kind of um. Like with Feora, it. The reason I think we settle on that well, one because it is um, General Zod's henchman. Yeah. And it's a badass, powerful woman's name, and yes. it just no, works. Mm -hmm. Um. Fate is a fae. Yeah, she'll she'll bite you to death, <laughs> or gum you to death, run into you to death. Um, Huxley, I I like I just like the sound of Huxley, um, but oh fuck, I'm I'm gonna get noited. It's greed. Greed. Greed is the killer in this game. You have a shared theme with your pets' names. All our dogs and cats are named after minerals. Not really. Um, Huxley was named after an author. Feora was named after a DC character. Teddy was named because of how he felt like... And this is a... It's a weird phenomenon that even his breeder hadn't really thought of. Uh, Teddy and Archie, the, the bonus baby now, they have, a, they feel soft. Like, so there's a thing in ball pythons called scaleless where they, they literally do not have scales. And yes, they look like an appendage. See, they're very is scaleless. Huh? It's a, it's a Dark Souls joke. Wow. <laughs> Top. Um, but like super soft, feels almost like velvet. So he was named after that. Ripley was named after uh, a movie character. Murph, his name was because that's what his breeder called him uh, because of Murphy's Law. Like he wouldn't eat. He tried to get out of his enclosure and he scarred up his back. Um, like like there were a bunch of things that just went wrong with this little snake so he called him murphy after murphy's law so Queeb took that name and then i named him i named bonus baby archie after archimedes which is the owl in sword in the stone cinnabar onyx jasper and malachite those are such cool names casual hi how are you i discovered what might be my problem with, with GTA 5 window issues, it's using the identity of monitor 1, but displaying on the primary display where it is supposed to with the resolution of that display, and I can't change the identity of the monitors, apparently. What? Oh, yeah. I've, that, uh, that's similar to the problem I was having before. Yeah. I'm sorry. Dude guy says, but our drink, our snakes drink smoke, go to bars, go out to dinner, smoke. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they, they live it up. You mean you're doing that show called Snake Game? Pretty big on Noit Flicks. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Our cats are named. Get the named... fuck out of here. <laughs> Our cats are named Onomatopoeia. We have Hoot, Fizz, and Gur. Oh, that's so cute. That's cool. I like that. We don't smoke and not even pot. I think most people assume the former before the latter, but I understand. Well, we're in LA. Uh, like. Well, I, I would say, like, a, a, a shit ton of people smoke here, but a shit ton of people, like, smoked in Texas. Like, a fuck ton of people. Um, and it's it's pretty bad. Uh, like, out here, if if we say smoke, like, it, it could be either way. Like, you don't really know what someone's talking about. You can also no, nobody buy Nobody calls bread. it smoke, though. That's, a, that's a, definitely a southern thing. That is absolutely a southern thing. Yeah. Ant says you can also buy bread in mouse sickles to feed the baby snakes. That is correct. We do we do buy mouse sickles. If you greet and it ain't working, then you're not greeting enough. Shaking my head. Queeb, you got this. It always amazes me how patient you are with this game. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm having a great time here. This is this is uh, I'm just relearning shit. I don't I don't even know. <laughs> Uh, casually says a movie character. Murphy could also be named after Murphy from RoboCop. See, in my head, I th I think I of thought Murph Murphy from, from RoboCop. See, I thought yeah. Murph from Interstellar. Murph? No, no. I'm, because they know, have RoboCop. that discussion. She's like, you know, if if something can go wrong, it will. And mm -hmm. and then he corrects her and says, "Sorry, I'm getting a little bit teary because I'm thinking of Teddy." It's okay. Te it's okay you know what teddy teddy sent you him he sent you murph that's why he was playing in the water earlier murphy's been playing in the water you guys get to see murphy swimming it's ridiculous um he's also a climber which teddy was so like absolutely teddy sent us murph anyway um, it's he corrects her and says that um no it's whatever can happen will happen mm -hmm. Super sweet. I, however, still think that it is from RoboCop. That is my Murph. That was probably one of the first movies that mentally scarred me. Like I had no nightmares. doubt. <laughs> no, it was Paul Verhoeven, that... right? It's like he just fucking people gibletize. Just... <laughs> it's fucking like <laughs> uh, the. It was the scene when Murphy has to become RoboCop. You guys know the scene in the warehouse, like. That was like burned onto my brain at a, a very young age. Uh, I heard that Dark Souls joke and immediately smile because February is coming. What's in February? More S'more Joe. S'more, S'more Joe? S'more Joe. Hey, homie, just got my audio off but wanted to stop and say, stop by and hope you have an amazing Christmas. I'm going to leave a lurk. Thank you, S'more Joe. I hope I'm saying your name right. Carrying Dark Souls and oh, a Elden Ring. Okay, got it, got it, got made it. Made me imagine wand building in Dark Souls, and honestly, that sounds insanely cool now. Bonzi loves taking walks in Montreal and smelling weed everywhere. That's a bad guy. Bad, bad guy. Pat says you guys live in LA. I got my 21st coming up in a month. I'm really considering going there to celebrate. Honestly, if I were you, I would not. Um, I would hold off because it's it's bad here like things are getting shut down left and right it's 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 getting bad so just be careful protect yourself monster got a book about Munchausen syndrome really hate it for love it read a book i think it talked about imposter syndrome but i dropped it because i didn't have the intelligence to understand it talk to me Interstellar is my number one movie of all time for real. I can watch it every month and cry as much as the previous time and the music from Hans, OMG. Yeah, after playing um, Out of Wilds, I uh, I watched uh, Interstellar and um, Arrival. Ugh. Nesta has friends in Las Vegas right now. They're having a hard time getting home. Yep, like flights are getting canceled left and right. Uh, hotels are canceling uh, reservations. Really? Yeah. Um, I, I told you about my friend who, she's immunocompromised. They, they found a ride on a private jet through a friend of a friend of a friend who happened to have room and everyone on the jet was supposed to be vaccinated. Flew oh, what a big here. surprise flew from here to New York, a kid was on the flight, coughed in her face, it got confirmed the day after they landed that the kid got COVID, like tested positive for COVID, and then the parents of her partner, whose house they were going to, they said that they would prefer that they don't come over, even though everyone is supposedly vaccinated and whatnot, even if they would have kept their distance, they just said they would rather be safe than sorry, which is fine. Um, so they tried to book a hotel room, got canceled, tried to book another one, got canceled, finally found an Airbnb that had already been booked with a friend of a friend who couldn't keep the reservation and instead of canceling it, my friend just stayed there. Mm. And it was like a nightmare. So now she's stuck on the East Coast for at least a couple of weeks before she can come back. 
Wow. So, like, be... Be careful. Wear a mask. Stay away from people. Please don't cough in people's faces. I'm curious if George R.R. R. Martin is doing the story for Elden Ring, if the story will be more in your face than typical Dark Souls games. Ava says, take care of everyone. Health comes first. If you stay alive, you can always make great plans later. Absolutely correct. Casually says, arrival's really good. Looking forward to the next big Dennis after Doom. Denis Villeneuve. I, see, I can't say that if I'm Texan. Uh, He's French-Canadian. Right? That's the one, supposedly. That's crazy. Fortunate enough to get the booster pretty early. COVID isn't too bad, but where I am in the States, anyway. Yeah, it's it, it's a fucking nightmare out here. Good book. It's been a long time since I read it. Arrival made me cry. I only watched it a couple of times, and that was it. Like, I kind of I had to tap out. It, it's not something I can rewatch. The music at the at the finale when everything's being worked out and she still makes the decision i'm not going to say any more than that but when she makes the decision that she does mm -hmm. it's like fuck yeah that's a wand if you can't wear a mask up for the next best thing full body condom and no no sheepskins <laughs> If you cried at arrival, what about the end of the mist? Oh, and the fucking crushing. My God. Is that the one? It The one? That's an ending. That is an ending. You didn't see it. You didn't even see it coming either. Oh, yeah. Oh, the spelling through your, your M-Y-S-T threw me off. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Sweet wand, nice wand you got. Ants has been sick for a week straight, not COVID, just strep. Strep? Fuck. Man, like, strep, strep is the worst. And I, I say that as someone who has not had COVID, like, that burning, oh. And then like, they, they have to swab. Like, it's 2022, and the best you can do is swab. You have to swab my swollen throat to tell if my throat is swollen enough to have strep. Thought theater, oh my god, the ending is incredible. That could have been me this year. We ended up canceling Christmas with both my wife's family and my own this year because of multiple family members testing positive. It's no joke. Uh, someone I follow on TikTok, she was going to fly out here to spend Christmas with a friend who was also spending Christmas alone. They were going to, uh, she was going to go out with her daughter and meet her friend with her son. And it was going to be like, you know, just them. And the girl's parents, the girl who was flying out here, or both of her parents tested positive and the girl who's out here her parents tested positive mm. like on the same day and they're like you know what maybe we're not supposed to see each other right now maybe maybe, maybe we'll just maybe this is like a wasted christmas tarim tax says reduce aftershot question mark Ava says, take a well-earned rest or eat something hot and easy to digest. Pickle juice and water used to boil rice are great for any sickness. That was one of the reasons why I made the fermented garlic, just so we have it to... We have something natural in the house, like, on hand. Fermented garlic! It smells so good. Um, the stores here, like, even, like, like CVS, Walmart, or Walgreens, it's so hard to, like, walk into a store and like have something that you need, like like something specific and walk into the store and actually get it. My brother's able to make it out to visit us tomorrow. That's amazing, Ice. That's awesome that you, you actually get to see him. Have you heard of the movie, The Man from Earth? It's a movie of just people talking in a room. The main character just tells the story of would it be possible that a caveman is still alive today and a bunch of university professors ask him questions to see if it's true, if he's crazy or just a story he's writing? Don't watch the second movie. <laughs> what? 
to ban from Earth. I guess I've been really lucky. Flint hasn't been bad, neither has it been where I moved. Yeah, it's just... I didn't realize it until after we moved out here that Orange County is apparently... It, it's it's Number one, it's a lot of wealthy people, and it's a lot of Republicans, and they have been doing a lot of protesting for masks and or like for against masks and and uh vaccines and whatnot and um kind of fucking with people if you both never saw the movie please watch it i promise you as a sci-fi fan you will love it david lee smith is john oldman Screenplay was conceived by Jerome Bixby in the early 60s and completed on his deathbed in 1998. Aww. Vale Chippa, hello. How are you? Welcome. Hey, Vale. Why am I do this? I got Xmas with the in-laws. They're great. My family did Xmas Eve together and it ended in a screaming match. Glad I skipped dinner. Mm. You know what? I envisioned that to be my my Christmas, so I made the initiative, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna try. No I doubt don't care. at all that would have been our Christmas had that have happened. So this sounds good. Like I'm I'm reading the wiki because, of course, I I read the wiki for everything. I make sure that there are no animals that die. There is no sexual assault against women, stuff like that. It sounds good. Where? Let's go back and let's do the man from Earth online. It looks like it's on Prime. Oh, I forgot about Boxing Day. I should know. I'm married to a damn Australian. Happy Boxing Day. Merry Christmas. Ever yeah, seen the movie? today, Boxing Day is uh, our version of Black Friday. It happens after Christmas, obviously, not Thanksgiving, but yeah, same same deal. Well, it's it was for shopping. I don't know if it still is. Man Bites Dog. The Amazon gotta raise a drink for our poor retail workers. Absolutely. Um, let's try Man Bites Dog film. Mockumentary. It is a Belgian black comedy crime mockumentary. I'm reading the wiki. I promise I'm not ignoring you guys. It seems a little too violent for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Mm mm. No. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Uh, no. No. Closing out the tab. No. So I fully expect this from the match was pleasantly surprised that everyone just got along and drank booze. It was on YouTube, like 480 probably, but it's like a podcast movie. Like the image is important. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you, Fonzie. I hope everyone's Christmas. I hope this year's Christmas has been the best everyone's ever had for everyone. Absolutely. Like I think, uh, I think for the most part, this is the uh, very low key. For for us, exceptionally low key. I have not made dinner. I do not care to. My kitchen's a disaster. My dogs are crazy. Um. I can't name as well. No, because my friend, um, my friend Kay, um, 
her uh, her in-laws, her her brother and sister-in-law, uh, they quarantined, and now they're they came out to stay with her, and that's the first time they've seen her since before the pandemic started. Um, and she has not DM'd me to say it was an awful day, so I'm assuming she is the only person who has actually had a wonderful actual Christmas Christmas. And I'm glad somebody, at least one person needed to this year. What we do in the shadows. I love what we do in the shadows. I don't think I've seen that. It's... That's Johnny Depp. Well, are you talking about the Johnny Depp film or are you talking about the series? I was talking about the series. When I said, is it Johnny Depp? I was talking about the Johnny Depp the movie. Right. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm saying that to Ants. Still looking to forward to werewolves, the sequel to what we do. Paxa, we don't speak Russian here, so I'm going to delete your message. Okay, babe. I mean, you could have said something totally like legit, but we don't speak Russian. Sorry. Good shot. What we do. I'm probably going to regret doing this. In the shadows. The movie. That is that is the Johnny Depp movie, though, right? No. Yes. Paxa, that's cool that you're Russian. We don't speak Russian, though, so I we don't know what you said. Yeah, you're welcome to stay, dude. But uh... oh, absolutely. Yes. Dark Shadows. Thank you. Is that the one where he's a rider? Oh. Hail. Y'all have been lovely background while working on the stuff I don't want to do. Uh, thank you. I <laughs> think. Get a lot of that. A lot of people lurking while working. 8-bit says that was secret window. Ah, thank you. Yeah, he, he goes shot. crazy or something and he's in a... We don't use that word. Crusty, he suffers yes. a breakdown. Uh, what we do in the shadows was with Jermaine Clement and the guy that... I can't... I, can't, I, can't, I know what you mean, but your message scrambled his name in my head. Taika Waititi? Yes. Or whatever his name is. Yeah, what we do, do in the mean, shadows is... Oh, where they're vampires. Yeah. But it's a, it's a, um, it, it's like a mockumentary kind of thing. It's a Jermaine Clement movie, right? Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's, yeah, it's. And Taika it's directed, cool. right? Yes, and he's in it. Well, I don't know if he directed, but he absolutely is in it. He's like, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, I follow Reese Darby on, uh, on, uh, TikTok. He's the, the manager from Flight of the Concords. Did, did you make me watch that or did someone else make me watch that? I would have heavily recommended it. I don't know if I made you do anything. I can't make my wife do anything. Well, at least you realized something. He directed it and plans to do a sequel called Werewolves. Yes, I'm, I'm busting out a tab. Please hold. Which deal with my kids in a moment. I'm having an enjoyable time here. This is a nice little romp through the jungle. Pretty dope. Hmm. Do More I anger. I see where it was in development with the movie. Nothing. Am I like looking in the wrong spot for the show? Okay, let's just try Werewolves. Werewolves. Thank you. Releases. Self debuted. No, that's a band. Try again. Wait, Wait Ben. Like 
That is a lot of rats. Huxley would be like, um, what? I'm telling you, he would be like the, the poo gif, the poo bear gif, where he's tying the napkin around his neck and just chair dancing for his food. Oh, what's this? Okay, that sounds terrifying. Remove bounce. Word. Never seen that before, especially not for 5650. On 2017, it was confirmed the sequel. Yeah, it looks like it's still just being worked on. And then it's slowly progressing. There is a um, a movie. I saw the um, the trailer for it. It's called The King's Daughter. The King's... Okay. What's it going? Um... It, it, there's like like Pierce Brosnan's in it and and um, Kaya Godelario. I do, I've never said her name out loud before. I'm sorry. Um, but apparently the movie was in production for so long that Kaya met her husband on set. They got married. And she is now pregnant with their second child, and the movie still has not been released. Like, it's been five years. Uh, so, uh, Tetris! Thank you! Thanks, buddy. Have I ever thought about doing Twitch watch party? I don't even know what that is. Um, I, I don't know what a Twitch watch party is. Hunt for the Wilder People is another good one by him. I can't watch it a second time. It sounds Hunt like for the, is, is that the one that takes place in like um, a swamp? Uh, and it's um, there's mythical creatures in it, like big, fuzzy, somewhat friendly, I think, creatures. No. Not sure. Isaac is correct uh, from. From the trailer, it looks like maybe she was like born out of wedlock and sent to like a nunnery or something, and then she grows up in the nunnery and they take he takes her back. Like he's like, oh, you know, the chick I I, I cheated on on with your mom is dead, so now I can bring you into my house. It's very, it's very weird. weird. It's very weird. Um, Pierce has an odd accent in the movie but i love him he's my bond he will always be my my james bond really forever and always. one of the very first movies i ever saw in a theater and the very first action movie i saw and the very first bond movie i saw was goldeneye wow i cannot tell you how excited i was to watch him at the top of that dam and uh it was pre pretty epic well i mean it was was it a stunt it, i don't know it Somebody was... had to jump off something. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Somebody jumped off of something. Like, that whole scene, magical. Uh, at the end of that first little bit where he takes off in the plane and it goes off the cliff and then it's just silence. You're like, oh my god. And then it just... I was like, oh my god. Like... For England, James? Topic. No. For me. <laughs> It's such a great movie. The game was fantastic. The movie's fan like love it. Game Mwah. was game was dope as shit. Yeah, good game. Is nunnery a word? You know what? I think it is. I I've heard it used. Nunnery before. business. It, uh, yeah. For a Twitch watch party, you might need to be partner, and the watchers all need Amazon Prime. Oh, so we can have a little movie night. Movie night with me talking over everything. That sounds fun. <laughs> Oh, we have another dad joke. If a group of dolphins is called a pod and a group of crows is called a murder, what is a group of children called? I have no idea. Annoying. <laughs> yeah, that works. The first movie in cinema was the first Power Rangers movie. I, first movie I watched uh, in the cinema was at the drive-in, it was Days of Thunder. Sorry, 
switch that. At the movie theater, it was Days of Thunder. At the drive-in. At the drive-in, it was Ghostbusters. What? I've been to a drive-in. Are they very popular in Australia? Oh, probably not anymore. But but at the at the time they were. This sounds horrible. It was not horrible. And you. First movie was Jurassic Park. Oh, that's a good one. You had nightmares for a four-year-old. That's fucking terrifying. Oh. I'm so sorry. First movie I remember in the Octopussy. Theater. Oh my god, you're older than me, casually. That's awesome. <laughs> Tamandua Girl says you can't pause the movie during watch parties either. What? Oh, so we can't stop and have a chat? It'd be like... Ah, mm. uh, fucking hell. Yeah, it was, but I fell in love with dinosaurs, so meh. All I got when I was four was like my cousins making me watch Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. <gasps> Miss Queeb, why don't you watch horror movies today? I I point you in that direction. That's why. This zone's probably gonna kill me in it. Probably. That guy right there could fucking kill me. Well, with that attitude. I remember watching The Hobbit at the movies. It's, oh, those fucking movies. Those fucking movies. I went with my mother to see The Hobbit. How the fuck do you think that I liked, ended? I liked it. I like all of the Lord of the Rings. They're really long, and I, I'm not a fantasy fan. But I could... Uh, I could probably watch them again. But I'd need to be... Yeah, very much in the mood for that, I think. Fonzie, no sweat. It's great to have you here, dude. You take it easy and thank you for the recipes. Absolutely. Thank you, Fonzie. Definitely. I would love to speak to you again. Thank you. Remember, there are a lot of Disney movies in my childhood, particularly The Lion King. Or six when I saw it, only saw it. My babysitter wanted to see it. I tried to block my eyes for the opening credits. Would have been fine. The, the Lion King's just a, a, a Disney stall, Kimba the White Lion. Fuck. Still a fucking good movie, though. It's a moment of chills from the first three movies. The music is not as epic and the characters are not as charismatic. Oh, shit. That's valid. I'm I'm not a, a a Lord of the Rings person, so yes, I agree. My favorite Disney Her Hercules is oh so good. Like so many like adult puns in it. It's just like not sexual puns either. Like like adult puns, like you know. Apparently in uh, Shrek, there's this. Uh, this is this is big on TikTok. Just a little little bit ago. Um, there's a scene where Prince Farquaad, I mean, first of all, his name is, is mm -hmm. absolutely meant to sound like Farquaad. Mm -hmm. Like, it was made that way. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a scene where he's watching Princess Fiona, and he's like, oh, says something, but he's, I'm hearing an echo again. Sorry, hold on. Um, and, and anyway, he references something and he looks down under the covers and he's covering himself. It's very lewd. The animators slipped that in and the voice actors and the producers and the writers. Did they? Yeah. That's a really dope one. I don't need it though. I mean, I... I... And then there's all the, the things about the Disney animators, how they, um, like how they made, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of shit that shouldn't be in the movie. Like, I know it's edgy, but 
I I would. Thank I you, ants in the kitchen. Yes, you, you're saying what's. Yeah. Um. Everyone signed off on it, but this is okay for children. Venice said, "Let's go." Queen playing Noita again. Look at that gif or that uh, emote. Fuck, I love that. That's what my brain is like sometimes. And it's hard to get Queeb to understand. Victory! Look at that. First run back. Oh, extra life saving. One down. 8-bit says this is my first time seeing this game. Uh, 8 bit, it's good. It's very good. I have uh, many, many, many hours in it. It's still weird seeing Clara's name here. She works for Devolver now. She's Devolver's uh, community marketing manager. BRB, I have a child to take care of. Dude guy, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, if you want to keep it. I think, I think root beer might be wonderful. Yeah. Finding your Isaac's confusing. This is on a whole different level. It's, um... I think it's a lot less, well, it's a lot less obscure than Isaac, but it's still, there's a lot of, there's a lot held away, like held back from the player and you don't, um, you don't get to find, thank you, babe. you don't get to find out a lot of that from, uh, oh, look at that. We got a streak of one. That's what well, that's my record too. Time, 1 hour 27. These stats are weird. Record, 9 hours 28. 12? What? Is that the longest time? I have had a 9 hour run before. Places visited, 14. Best, 68 bit places. Enemy slain, 353. Max HP, 295. 6930 best. See, nah, these are, these are, I don't know where these fucking numbers are coming from. I've had way more HP than that. I've had like hundreds of thousands. I did reset my stats a couple of times, actually. When it went 1.0, after I completed a few runs, I think I reset the stats then. Um, total wins, too. I mean, I've probably got, I don't know, maybe a dozen maybe 20 we got nine new things unlocked though that's cool what do we get iron stomach pollen that looks fucking useless it's probably not it's probably one of the most powerful things in the game this guy which you can't get until christmas or you change the date on your computer what i've had that before i've had that before Definitely had that. I mean, come on. That's one of the first. You start with Firebolt, for fuck's sake. That's a new one. Gamble was... was uh, That was a good get, actually. Xpeel. Hello, Merry Christmas. Oh my god, you've changed up your script. I love it. <laughs> um, let's go again. Let's, let's try some shenaniganery with uh, fungal shifting. Oh, the game still black screens. It, it goes completely out to desktop to reload. That's weird. Actually, there's one thing I want to check first. Hang on. Um, let 
Steam Workshop Christmas hat. Yeah, subscribe. I um, I was watching Frag today, and and Frag played played this, which is awesome. Um, he's getting really good too. And uh, and he had this. All oh, right, that would explain why I disabled the Steam. Um, Got to synchronize every time, right? Gathered all the knowledge. 1.4% of players have this. What what does it mean? Just gathered all the no I just gathered it all. I, I have all of the I have all of the knowledge right now. Sorry, folks. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna disable the Steam um online saving. That I'm so blown away they haven't fixed that. It's the problem is it's not a large amount of data. The problem is that it's the number of files, it's just huge. So every single time you quit the game or it crashes which, let's be honest, can happen from time to time. There we go. And did we download content? Yep. I, all I want is the fucking Santa hat, dude. Hang on, and I'm going to turn off Steam um, online stuff. Local files? No. General? Yeah. Keep save games in the cloud. That, that, it, I, yeah, I'm still blown away. That's even a thing. But here we are. All the tablets. Oh, thank you for the reminder. We didn't make the, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do a giveaway. Uh, no, another one? Fuck, we did make 750. Okay. Um, if you would like to win... A uh, twenty-five dollar Steam gift card in you if you're in the United States. Go ahead and type something in chat. If you're outside of the United States, we're going to work something else out for you. Feel free to enter regardless. If you've won before, obviously we're going to skip you. We'll give it to somebody else. But it is wheel time. You can type the word something if you like. How else should I say that without people just literally writing down what I say? Type. <laughs> Never be able to stop chat from being smart at this facts. Uh, total facts. Spin. What? That's from. I. I only. I heard the spin thing on uh, on Alias's channel. I don't know what it's from. It had me laughing for some reason, though. Like, it, it was weird. And he was playing some weird 3D... I don't know, it was kind of like... I can't remember it too well. It was like kind of like Risk of Rain, but not. More of an adventure-style survival game. Look at that emote. Oh my god, that's glorious. So detailed and all. Who's that from? Blind IRL. <laughs> Yeehaw. Oh my god. Benjamin Wheeler. I need... I think I need a word. And I'm, I've am i I've got... Um, fungal shift. Yeah, we will do some fungal shift. Uh, I suggested to Miss Queeb we introduce a new... Merch idea. I was watching 8-Bit Drummer today. I don't know if you've seen him before. Very talented drummer. Plays drum covers of, like, lots of video game and uh, anime stuff. Very, very talented. Very good. And uh, he has a, a shirt that says... Um, it's got, like, the, the, the triangle brackets. What are they called? I don't know. The greater than, less than. And inside it says message deleted, much like if I was to delete one of your messages, for example. Um... And I just thought that's so clever. And then I thought, what what do we have that's similar? And I, I, I've worked it out now. Check this. I've updated my back seating tag. So it's going to be exclamation mark back seat. And even though this is wordy, Noita gets a pass, by the way. I'm, you feel free to... I had to, I had to do it. And I, I apologize in advance, but that's my new back seating, uh, back seating command now.
So yeah, I might put that on a, on a t-shirt or something. Just something fun. All right. Um, I'll give it, I'll give it another 30 seconds and then we will, we will spin. Have I played Dreamscaper? <laughs> Comrade. Yes. Yes, I have. I played Dreamscaper before early access. The, the dev hit me up. Um, loved it. Amazing game. What's the command? It, it, backseating. The, the, the one I typed literally above. Or, or backseat. Yeah, I didn't want to have to be so specific with with that because I I do want to still encourage conversation, but it got it got too much. I've uh, the list of games that have been ruined for me is climbing and and uh, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right, let's give it a spin. Good luck everyone. Here we go. The winner is Citric crit, Citric Path, Critical Path. Congratulations. If you're in the United States, um please friend me on steam the name is mcqueeb if you're not in the united states um we will work something else out you're in australia no sweat um so if you can message Ms. Queeb, and i'll type that for you so you can uh can message her um and just let her know that you were the winner of the last one i'll write it down as well critical path Uh, we'll send you a, a, an Amazon gift card instead. Easy, easy done. Congratulations. So every, every 50, we're giving away one of those prizes. And if we hit a thousand, uh, we'll be giving away a major prize. The previous winner was uh cat template. He won or he selected from the prize pool, uh, a super Nintendo classic, uh, yeah, we got I got a few I got a few more things up my sleeve, so you're in Australia as well, do the same. Oh, you are a monster. Sorry. Yeah, okay, I'll do the same. I will uh send them both to Ms. Queeb right now. And she'll take care of that. If you can DM Ms. Queeb an email address that you have, I don't even think it has to be um one that is tied to your Amazon account, but I would recommend that anyway, just to be on the safe side. They will be DMing you. Yeah, she'll take care of that. Sleeves are very short. My sleeves? Thanks. Okay. <laughs> How do I respond to that? <laughs> what the fuck? Cheers. Happy Noitness. Noitmas continues. Oh, wait. I gotta activate mods first, huh? Christmas hat. Uh, start a new game with mods active. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, why did that happen? Whiskey. A jar got jammed into the ceiling, that's why. So we gotta find some fungus first. Survive long enough to find fungus, that's our mission. Yeah, I, I, Frag had this one active, and um, and I was like, "That's fucking dope!" And then, and then I forgot to do it when I started the game. But 
Oh, that's a really cool idea. I wonder if it gives us plus damage against those other fuckers, the Christmas guys. The thing is, it's so funny. If, if you see a new character introduced around Christmas time, um, especially one that has its own... Um, where is it? Where is it? Progress. I, I don't know how to say... Is that a J? Yoluhisi? Um... You'd think, oh, it's just a reskin of the other guy. Uh uh. No. Way more fucking HP and throws like snowy presents at you. I do remember that from back in the day. I've killed hundreds of those before, but um Yeah, apparently that that didn't carry over in whatever save. I don't know what result what, what, like where my save files are at or anything, but it's all good. Pollen is really good with homing. Okay. So is it a slow moving? Can I attach things to it? Because I we our last run had like tons and tons of pollen on it. So it's gonna be a no damage run too. Good is your bane. Oh, that's um, that's Scott, right? Molkop. It's a no. It's always a no damage run until it isn't correct. Oh, swim! Go, go, go! Yes. Now, don't drown. Ambrosia? Oh, it's my it's my birthday. I'm not going to use my uh, anti-cheat rules. I think we're we're not quite there yet. Venomous curse. No idea. Colin hurts you. Got it. But on a, on a on a trigger effect, it might be okay, right? I'm gonna get over here. I don't really want to bomb through. Might not have a choice here. Oh. Trigger homing pollen. Oof, that was nearly damage. Oh, in repulsion too? Right on. It's explosion damage? Well, there you go. Took a hit already. Notorious. My no-hit runs were ended so, so often because of that guy. Look how much health he's got. He's got like 50 health. Ah, shit. Gotcha. Yeah, dick. Woo!
Oh boy. I once saw Dunk get one shot from 100 health by a pile of spiders once. It was funny, but scary and tragic at the same time. You gonna let me in there? I have to go around some way. Could try to explode through, but I'm guessing this is gonna be blocked off. I do love the the bouncy shot. I think it's great. Um, I find it doesn't scale very well. So like using it in the first couple of floors is excellent. Especially if you can fire it fast, fast. Like you find the green wand with it stacked on already. So dope. But it doesn't tend to tend to last. Um, but. Alias once showed me that it's one of the most powerful spells in the game if you work magic on it. That's a funky wand. I remember when those ones were introduced. Out of bombs, huh? Fast. Decent. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, that's better than what I got. Yeah, okay. Five degree of spreads, a bit rough, but this projectile does 10 damage. So that's the immediate. Um, and it's split type damage, right? Five regular, five slice damage, which is the same as um, saws and, and shit like that. Listen to me talking about this game like I know what, it, what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, by the way, when it comes to the giveaways and stuff, there's some fungus. All right. Um, if I fuck up and I forget, don't hesitate to remind me. I'm not going to get mad or snippy at you. You're totally fine. That's the wand I want, buddy. Oh, I like them too. That's going to be... Did it, did it, did it. We'll keep both. Um, oh, no mushies down here. Don't tell me they got rid of the mushrooms. Is this enough fungus to do what we need to do? I don't think it is. What if we eat a body? Now we need to see eyeballs, right? One eighty is what you need on the on this one, or tripping. Like this has to go up to one hundred eighty seconds. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. Although it's already the twenty sixth. Isn't that weird about time zones? I mean, we're at nine p.m., so still. This is peak Christmas right now for the for the Queeb family. But um No, whatever you, whatever it is you celebrate, wherever you are. I hope you're doing well. Stay away from that. Alright, so fungal caverns is clearly where we're heading. This is not gonna be enough. You can let it grow, right? 
if you don't have enough, I, I could have left that and maybe come back later. It would have been more. Egg. What do I got? 539. Oh, I remember my 600 gold rule. Do you remember that? I never used to leave the first floor until I had about 600 gold. That gave you two rerolls if you need it. Here in Michigan, it's the 26th. Oh, happy, happy Boxing Day. McQueen, what's Boxing Day? Glad you asked. I don't know why they call it Boxing Day, even though I probably should. It's probably been explained to me a thousand times. But, um... It's the day after Christmas when Australians go shopping. And I think Canada has it, and the UK has it as well. So it must be a Commonwealth thing. I'm, I gotta say, I gotta say I'm having a good time playing this. I am. She's scared again? She's scared? No, she's Got it. Got it. Yeah, when the internet dropped earlier, I tend to get really fucking... If, if I'm not streaming, I don't care, right? Like, internet goes down, I'll deal. But when I'm streaming, that fucking pisses me off so much. Ooh. Can I get that? I, I wish I had... So I have used to have a group of friends in LA um, and I, I... Some of them moved away and, you know, it's it's all, you know... I wouldn't say we've even drifted apart. Even though that's, you know, kind of what happened. But um, I, I wish I had a, a... A place I felt comfortable. I remember one night... Um, I won't give you details, but let's just say I had to leave my house. Um, and best friend took me in and um, I just, it, it felt safe. I'll never forget that for as long as I live. That was, that was an incredible moment. And I, I miss that. And, and you know, COVID's fucked. And, and because of it, Ms. Quib and I don't... We don't do anything. Um, Ms. Quib does all the shopping. Um, she's, she leaves my house. I haven't used my car in a year. Um, so she, she goes out regularly. She is as safe as she possibly can be when she goes out. Um, I stay here. This is my... This is my... I won't, I won't use the word prison, but, you know, I don't go out, so. How'd you get the Santa hat? It's a mod, Solomon. Um, I'll pull up the Steam page real quick. Hang on. Sorry, I didn't, add, I didn't have time to add it to my mods list. Mods. McQueeb's mods. I'll add it real quick. Uh, exclamation mark mods. It is at the very bottom Christmas hat Merry Christmas everyone one second one second what's it called Christmas hat just Christmas hat at the very bottom of the page and I'll also link it in uh, in chat for you as well
Oh yeah, we need that. Friends for over 25 years. That's the that's the kind of people, right? Oh, look at that. Always cast fucking electric rock. Hmm. It's back to a no hit run again. Absolutely. Pinpointer. That gives you faster spells fly faster and have a lower spread and you have a handy sight line for aiming saving grace saving grace is fucking awesome go rats again just don't get polymorphed kappa uh dt fish um another buddy of mine i met on tiktok is moving here next week um so I'm kind of excited for that. I haven't... I haven't explained this to him yet, but I would like to hang out with him. Tell him, McQueep. Tell him how you feel. I know, I know. I should just tell him. Makes the target hit by the projectile to waste away. So poison. Okay, it's just literally poison. Hmm. It, it might very well be. It's Duty Beard. That's his name. I want bombs again? Okay. So do I buy these now or come back? Like I can't come back. What we could do is buy a couple more of those, however. It's not a bad purchase. What's the stats on that? 837, 247, 6 cap. Hmm. Buy the riskiest one? I'm going to save my cash. There's nothing here I really... That always casts... That This recharge time is ridiculous. So it's almost unusable. Good storage one, though. Yeah, let's keep going. No way, he's playing Noita again. It's it's Noitmas. It's been on my cal calendar the entire month. Um, I didn't, I didn't hide the fact I was going to be playing. In fact, I kind of, I kind of, uh, built it up a little bit. So, I didn't follow my, my own rules last time I did this um, always clear a, a path for yourself straight down or at least give yourself an out right because if we go over into the fungal caverns and we get stuck over there and need to backtrack and we haven't cleared down here and we've got like 20 30 health it, you've got to end the run um, so I always try to clear a way out first and then go searching the question is, when do you do that? Hmm. 
This one will go up on YouTube too. I'll even put it on my main channel. I mean, I know I'd be mad not to. People love people love it when I play this game. Should have should have recharged my bombs, dude. Oh, I fucking hate these things. So yeah, it'll go up on um, it'll go up on YouTube. I'll edit that over the next couple of days and put it up early, and then um, for uh, it, it will eventually go up on the VOD channel as well as a sort of an unedited version. Really, you're not gonna let me go through at all? Don't cycle your wands. I have a hotkey set up, so Q automatically switches to my flask. Um, during the no-hit attempts, that was super important. I managed to save a few runs where... Um, let's say you landed in poison or something. If you're fast enough, in other words, switch to it and just yeet the bottle on the ground to cover yourself in water, you can save your run um, it's come in handy a few times and I have um, kick linked to my middle mouse button uh, which and then on my mouse I have my middle mouse button linked to my thumb mouse button I do love this mouse it's very lightweight it's the rock cat cone air pro I have it corded at the moment but it's, it's cordless. The only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that the scroll wheel doesn't have uh, left and right. Hey, Sarah, Sarah Raven, how are you? Great to see you. Yeah, this one was recommended. That is... Oh, it's a bummer. Oh, well. It's, it was recommended to me by uh, someone that plays Apex. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but... Merry Christmas to you as well, Sarah. I can't get through. Yes, I can. I can now. Oh, thank you so much for the gifted subs. That's so kind. Thank you. Painfully slow. Is that a multicast? It is. That's why it's fucking being weird. Huh. Okay. Ah, very good. Very good. Get them, boys. A 
That's dope. Man, if only that had like a lot more mana. So this is a problem here. Normally this would only well, it's within a, a radius of it. If you're if you're around that area, it will continually continuously spawn um, these little fuckers, and they're annoying. Um, it should be line of sight. I've always believed that. Bees gotta see you to hunt you, you know. And that's my controversial opinion of 2021. Ah, fuck. They hunt by... Don't stop. Get that logic out of here. Ants in the kitchen. Now we've got some fungal we can eat. I'm not going to get in there without mana. Mana juice. Or acid. Ah, oh, they're spawning. Yeah. Please don't. No, I don't want to be here. Don't want to be anywhere here at all. Blood to lava. Yeah, no doubt. Perfectly fair and reasonable. Blood to healthium would be okay. We could we could handle that, I think. This is a fucking terrible place to be. dangerous. Help. Get him, rats. I gotta take out this spawner. Good. Fuck. And this is exactly the situation I said that I didn't want to be in where I don't have a way out. And the place I want to be is now infested and I don't want to destroy that. Maybe we can just eat it without... Five seconds. Halfway there, huh? Okay, gone.
Yeah, that's enough. You hear the word lava echoing. Mm. Okay. How's this work? <laughs> Probably not a good thing, unless lava becomes something else. Which may be good, may not be good. Can you shift it more than once? Is that advisable? Or can it, does it undo the previous or does it add to the previous? You think it's blood? You think I'm dead? Gotta wait five minutes for the next shift. They can overlap. Oh, wow. 20 shifts is the max. That's terrifying. They're all shuffles, man. It's decent. Take it. Would it be... Is it... And it, another question. Is it visibly different? Or is it just the... Uh, wait and find out. Like, if... Let's say it was toxic sludge to lava, right? If I touched it... It's visibly... Okay, so it, it actually changed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it should be pretty obvious. The fact that we're not seeing it, though, well, there's blood. That's a good sign. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Unless we want to wait and shift again. But I have to make it back out as well. up mcna shoot one of the fire bugs and see what they bleed oh it it switches them it's not just one to the other it it actually replaces them you can hold a flask and there's a 75% chance the shift will involve a held substance okay all right ain't water Nope, that's all good. So many liquids left, dude. Was that a fire bug? Just slime to lava? Vomit. Yep, there's vomit there. Transformational. Ah, fuck you. Bad. Very, very good. So lava is vomit. And I guess vomit would be lava too. So we'd be, we'd be careful. I do want to go back and do that again though. Holding water? Probably the worst thing I could possibly try. But I gotta wait five minutes. How do I, how do I know when that time has elapsed? No vomit stays vomit. Oh. Oh, that's freaking dope. Is that a big timer? Got it. Should we go swimming? Although lava does help me sometimes. Oh, Robocop, you're not drowning. You should at least rust. Oh no! Ruined. Okay, my bad. Ah, 
Ah, fuck. Leave, leave, leave. No trigger spells. It's a shame. Is that? Faster ones. One off. Extra health. One off. Ah, bummer. I wanted the other one. Can we roll? Mm -hmm. Foster ones wouldn't be bad, though. All the ones you're currently carrying are uh, not not all future ones. Ah, uh, yeah, true. That's what I was just checking. Yep, it's just the ones you're holding. Bummer. That's okay. We can fix that though. I'd love to use this, the Venomous Curse. I, in fact, I should use it just so that we get the um, get the unlock for it, because I'm sure I haven't used that before. Five twenty-seven. Fuck yeah, it's way better. All right, we'll reroll. Explosion immunity. Well, all right then. Buy another one of those. Switch that out. So, this is a weird wand. Um, ordinary. Happy. Christmas to you too, my friend. It is great to see you, dude. Hope you hope you had a lovely day. It goes for everybody. Um, tell me some of the meals that you've had, because um, that sounds like fun. Curse on gust of wind would be a fun no hit combo. Does gust of wind pass through landscape? Should buy a teleport, shouldn't I? You you guys are reading my mind. I love it. Ribs and collard greens, roasted vegetables. So collard greens, I've tried. I very bitter. And I'm not sure if that was traditional or or what. I well, I wasn't the biggest fan. Um. I'm always open to trying new things, but, uh... Yeah, that one, that one I couldn't get my head around. Leftover Chinese from yesterday? That sounds fucking amazing. 
Ribeye steak with some rigatoni. Oh my fucking Christ. Long distance cast. Got it. Long distance cast easier. Really? Thank you, Mr. Green. Mr. Collard Green. Welcome. Potato solid salad. Oh my God. I need to eat something. I'm fucking starving. <laughs> hey, Lyris, how you doing? Turkey ham today. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> We go up and save a few of these spells. Yeah, let's do it. I doubt we'll need more, but at the same time, like... I don't know. I find that really easy to do. Um, it, it took me a while to get it, but once I got it, I got it. No, keep those. They'd be really good. Long distance cast can go... Oh, okay, so you can go straight through the side there. Yeah, if we can get homing of some description, our current one would be actually amazing. But if we get homing, we'll try something different, I think. Uh, I need more fungus. Fungus to... Um, uh, blood to ambrosia? <laughs> you fucking amazing. See if we can get the gold we got down here. Oh my god. Long distance cast won't eat the charges. Infinite matter eater. See all these different things. Ham, cabbage rolls. What's a cabbage roll? Potato salad, Pittsburgh potatoes. What's a Pittsburgh potato? Pickled eggs and beets and sweet potatoes. Oh my God. Sounds really good. Well, it makes me happy that you're you're all eating very very well. I wish you get Miss Miss Creep to order pizza or something. I don't want to be here right now. On a timer. The purple ones are mine, right? Got it. That, ah, that. Ah. Forgot how good the physics were. Yeah, it's one of the reasons I kept watching streamers play this is because it was so... It's a beautiful game. I know it's simple and, and pixel graphics and everything else, but like... Just stunning. Like the fire burning and, and acid eating away metals and shit. It's just, it's just great. What the fuck is that thing? I don't want to find out. What 
they have some kind of uh, uh, glue gun? Blue cannon? Blue balls. Okay. Right. Why didn't I, why didn't I think of that? Uh, nope. Ain't going in there. It's like I haven't played this game in a while. I know, right? <laughs> any reason to stick around we could go back up the top um actually it's not a bad idea get a little, a little bit more health hey buddy long time yeah hi please get up What do we need to do um, electric arc? It's explosion immunity and electric immunity, right? I think we need both. Just a bag of potatoes, O'Brien. I'm sorry, I don't know what that is either. Glass pan with sour cream, can of mushroom soup, shredded cheddar cheese along with diced onions, a little salt and pepper. I'm so hungry. What what do you think our chances of getting a pizza on Christmas Day are? Probably pretty slim. I feel bad ordering on Christmas Day just because I don't want to make everyone work on Christmas Day. That's fucked. Chances are low. Oh, you know they're going to be open, but... I don't know. Chinese restaurants? What up, Sniperoni? What's that one? Homebringer teleport. Give me a sec, folks. I need to run to the restroom. Um... I'm just going to run a, a quick commercial break. We'll remove pre-rolls for everyone coming in. Won't be long at all.
Ms. Queeb is looking after Loaf, our son. Exclamation mark, Loaf. Um, meet Loaf McQueeb. Uh, puppy. Eh. That is the day that uh, Ms. Queeb brought Loaf home. Okay. Getting back to it. What one was this? Homebringer teleport vault brings the target hit closer to you. Mm hmm. I say we go up. Snipu Hisi, aka the devil. Two of them, even. I was lucky. Nah. Bread and noodles for pets. Um, speaking of food, Ms. Queeb is uh, is putting on a frozen pizza, so that's our Christmas dinner. And I'm actually really, really excited. <laughs> Sounds fucking wonderful. Paul Newman's plain cheese, if you're curious. It's not plain, it has um uh like uh it's 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 seasoned heavily, bunch of herbs and shit on it. Do we have a pizza cooker? No, we're going to put this one in the oven. Um, actually, Astra said, is it going to be cooked in the air fryer? We're air fryer obsessed in this family. Um, and she said, no, it's going to be... Uh, it's too big for that. Woo! Ah, shit. That's bad. Yeah. Oh, man. This projectile is so good. Um, it's not the best at the moment, and I would love to be con firing continuously. And it doesn't even do that much damage. Um, it just, it just gets everywhere. It's like sand. That was a musical note hint, right? Yeah, you need a fucking music degree to even work that out. Thanks, thanks, Nola.
Is there a guide somewhere in what order to do things in? Um, I'd be surprised if there wasn't, but there is so, so much to do now. Um, this game has expanded. I know I had a criticism in my Noita, you know, why I don't play Noita anymore video. Um, not even a criticism. You can hardly can complain that a game has too much content. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we swimming. Um, it was just, it was just, it got overwhelming for me. And I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. It was one of the reasons why I stopped playing was that there was, they kept releasing update after update. And it wouldn't be small changes either. They'd introduce new bosses and a dozen new spells and spell modifiers. And it, it got too much and I could not keep up. Um... A lot of people actually, that was one of the things people came back to me on that video. They said, you're fucking kidding if you think that's something that a developer should do. Um, my thought behind it was they could be making money with all of this. Um, but they're choosing not to. Oh, can we play my favorite song while I'm here? track man it's so simple but it's haunting oh, I love it Um, my, my rationale behind that, right, releasing extra, is that they could charge a couple of bucks, five bucks even, for a massive content dump update. Um, and everyone was like, oh, no way am I paying for it. That's fine. Uh, but I think Nola deserve to be millionaires, and if they're not already, then, then they should be. Give me this. Uh, drop. Can I put that down without fucking... Mm, let's just leave it. Not getting the pyramid orb. Oh, yeah, we can do that. There shouldn't be anything between us and it, right? Maybe the occasional very basic enemy, but nothing major. Not all additions uh, to a game are inherently good. See, Isaac DLC. Gru, what, what, which DLC specifically? Because Repentance was fucking ace, in my opinion. Mushroom down, down. It's definitely a mushroom. Hmm. I see a lot of um, streamers and especially speedrunners in in particular preferring the short teleport. I'm. I don't agree. I like the long distance one better. I think I get it. It makes sense for the for the speed run. Diluting the item pool with garbage. Short bolt is better for dodging. Right. No, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Not very good additions. I've heard I've heard similar complaints about um, Afterbirth Plus. I want to say um, even the the content updates that they released for that later on as well. Um, yeah, people were critical of that.
booster pack sucks. To be fair, that's about the time I stopped playing. Um, and it was it was content overload at the time. I'm so, so glad I stuck with it, though. I'm super happy with Repentance. I think it's incredible. I, I just love doing runs. Uh, so I don't have any heals now. We have to make it through... We could take the shortcut back. How do you kill the the pit boss? I think that's what they call it these days. The big guy that fucks you up if you shoot it. Just like a laser barrage. Squidward, thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Dark cave? I don't have anything to light it with. That doesn't work. Somebody in Frag's chat today said torch works, and I was really skeptical on that. I didn't think it did. I thought you specifically need worm. Um, or... That's, that's my child getting in trouble. He's a, he's a ruffian. He's, the problem is he's playing. He doesn't know the, the rules yet. When we can afford training, we'll, we're going to get someone to see him. The light works, you say? Really? Did I kill this one? I killed this one. All right. All right. Okay, so now we have to sort of very carefully... Well, I might as well farm a little while we're here. Since we have the tools to do so. This is where it gets sketch. Like I said before, if you don't clear a path down, you have to do that with the health you got. There's no alternative. there. How did I only lose one HP? I mean, I lost some more from the from the damage from the, the toxic after, but... Oh! Explosion. It's okay, Zoe. You're not in trouble. You're a good baby. Yeah, you're, you're the best baby. You want to say hey to chat? I think chat wants to say hello to you. She hides under my desk when shit hits the fan. Yesterday, she was hiding at my feet and right next to the power cables. I'm like, you can't be there. That's Zoe. Whenever we talk about Zoe, that's, that's who we're talking about. Uh, exclamation mark pet count, by the way. That is our... That's our current tally of, of pets. mana. Just one extra, huh? Put it on this.
Alright, farting is not allowed. Farting is not allowed. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> on the orbs yeah yeah i figured as much um we could load this up with a couple more orbs actually since we got them although we're only going to get light on one that yeah, works it's fine so am i going back up again yeah i might as well huh Is that 20 damage or 30 damage? I can never remember. Oh no, this is an unexplored area. I gotta go this way. How many quibbles to give a pet a middle name? Um, we've only ever give gifted that uh, privilege to um, a supporter of the channel before. They were they were super kind and and very generous in donations and and not saying you need to do that at all um it, but it was a it was a one off thing yes this way yep ah this way yep yeah definitely worth getting the heal and the health up I did not think you could get there with, uh, down or up. Yeah, I didn't think you could get there with the torch. Good news is we can dig at the same time, though. I like that. Do I have any criticisms of the game? Yeah. Yeah. The amount of content is overwhelming. Um... That could be seen as a good or a bad thing. For me, it's it's not a good thing, just because it's my brain. Um, I, I get overwhelmed very easily in certain video games. Um, and it's often to do with... Um, a lot of learning is required. Um, what else? No, I mean, I'd have to, I, I wrote a Steam review a, like a while back, early, early access, first month kind of thing. And I had a, a bullet point list of, of a few things, like the bees, for example, I don't think that they should hunt you unless you have line of sight with them, but apparently they can sense smell in real life. Um, what else? It, 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 it's just few things like that but it's nothing I would say that the game is particularly bad as a result for you know what I mean you wish the vomit was arranged like that am I gonna try damage this runs I mean we can try <laughs> it's been so long dude been so so long Hey, look, it's a donut. Wait, I can't dig through that. Ah. Uh, is this it? I can also drown. Fucked. Oh! 
Definitely fucked. Um... <laughs> Think, Queeb, think. Ambrosia? Will that make me sick if I drink it now? Yep. Does that damage me though? I thought you could dig through the tree. I had no idea. Oh, wait. That's our solution. Okay. So I gotta go through... I gotta go down here then. Saved, yeah, for now, we'll see. Still gotta get there. Oh man. It's gotta go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Darkness is imprisoning me. All that I can see... Nothing. Does work though. Kinda. I like the fact that it is like pitch black and not just like lowered lighting so you can't budget with like a, like a gamma hack or something like that. It's usually straight down-ish. I shouldn't have put so many orbs on here. Better with static spells. Yeah, stuff that lingers for sure. Actually, if it has distance to travel, it's not bad either. Should probably be following the water, I guess, right? No, no, I shouldn't be. the goal? Lula. It's the wrong question to ask, dude. <laughs> Survive. We managed to fungal shift lava into vomit, so that was a, a big bonus. 
I don't want to go into the laboratory, no. I'm looking for... Is it down, you think? Every time somebody says that as an answer, like, what's the goal to survive? I picture the Tron Legacy movie and Jem as she's putting the fucking disc on the dude's back. And he has no idea what's going on. That is pheromones. Possibly left? That could be the exit as well. Or straight down. Maybe in here. Uh, that could be bad too, Queeb. Nope, that's it. Get it. Feels good, man. brute force method but we got there we didn't get burnt alive by Stendari it's always a bonus Archers you, you heard of this game it's pretty good How did I not know it was there? Woody? Oh, I, no, no, no. That's always there. I so infrequently go and get it that uh, it's never usually a thing. Especially this early as well. Like, No, I, I burnt a ton of HP to sh um, the fungal caverns earlier. All right, I think I'm gonna fix, not yet, next one. Yeah, I think I'll fix my, uh, my orb wand, we'll, we'll switch it out. Or remove, remove some orbs at the very least. Make it a bit more economical. Get rid of the light again. We won't need it. I think. Decent recharge on all of these, actually. Could just slow it down a bit, too. That's so much better. Okay. Back for more fungal shift? I don't mind the spread. The spread is fine. God 
God damn, they're fucking accurate as hell. There you go, there's a complaint. 33 damage on, on those fucking grenades that are accurate as fuck. Yep, I just saw this up here. I'm like, that sucks. There's another complaint. Projectile crit. Hmm. Well, that's kind of sealed our fate, huh? Plasma beam cross, so fucking dangerous. Oh, what was the eggplant? I don't think I've ever seen that poke before. Now we need uh, electric something. Electric arc would be dope. Why did he get angry? Right, so... See this hole up here? A worm came down here. That's actually been increased in size. It does some weird funky shit at like the borders between levels and, and shit sometimes like it just stops dead in a line anyway a worm came down here and that it dug technically into into this um that's what that's what did it ah, this sucks But we do have this, so we want to go get that ASAP. Crit would have been pretty dope, actually. 150 on the recharge there. And a no shuffle. Two slaughter, but it's pretty good. Electric immune motherfuckers. Oh, yes, please. All right. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Creep just brought some pizza. It's a bad fucking yeah. Okay, we got him. We got the the big guy at least. Yeah, let's grab that. Um this homing aiming arc a projectile rotates towards the direction you're aiming 30 mana drain however got this on there as well and quantum split 
gonna be expensive. Um, how does aiming arc work with death cross? We could change things up a little bit here. Let me grab that first. We'll head back up. Hope you brought enough pizza over it. No, everyone else is eating well today. I'm starving. So, uh, so no. <laughs> no beans for everybody else, just me. <laughs> Could be really good. If we reduce. Where's a double cast? I need a triple instead. What? No, same. It's virtually unlimited. Damage is not great, though. But we can deal with that. Quad shot light beam. The... Mm, no. No, too too expensive, too costly. Let's keep that. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. It's it's not homing. It's aimed towards. So this could be like incredible concentrated light. What if we switched out for energy sphere instead? Nah, it's gonna be much much slower, huh? Yeah. And I gotta go get, go get the death cross wand as well. Can you triple and quad for twelve times? Massive mana drain. It wouldn't wouldn't work. We have no wands that could do that. Um, oh, maybe maybe that one. But you're now looking. No, sorry, not that one. No, we don't. We don't have any ones that can do that. Um, this one has a 1.85 second recharge, which I'm not keen on. But the max mana is still 163. Charge speed's amazing, but it, that's irrelevant if you have to wait one and a half seconds for it to to do anything decent. It's all right. We're about to get a better wand anyway. I'm not too concerned. I'll go get the death cross one. Is that? That's it there. And I'll just steal the contents of it. My my. The wand crafting is is basic, uh, for lack of a better word. There's a really cool. What was the 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 training level we did? It was kind of like um, how'd you explain it? It's like one tutorial spell lab. Thank you. That's it. Highly recommended. It shows you some amazing stuff. Oh, you smell pizza now. 
You think this is for you? No, this is humans. You are not human. Oh, I can be dead. Did I put the teleport back on? Let's actually... Move this down here. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's go down to the bottom right now. Is it always bottom right? I can't remember. Ed, thank you very much for the gifted sub uh, to Kitsune and Lula Cat. Very kind of you, man. No, that's that's proper homing. That's not aimed towards at all. Uh, maybe, maybe it's not. It's like if it passes, if it's heading towards, it turns towards. If it passes something, it just fucks right off. Very strange. Scuffed homing. There's like, that's another thing I, I got really confused about. Was that there's like, there's like eight different forms of homing and they all do something very slightly differently. Okay, I get it. Is this the one that's really good with the bouncing projectiles? Maybe. Oh, it's so weird. The slower a projectile is moving, um, it seems to be quite effective for that. Homing rocks? That's, I don't think that's a build I ever got off the ground. Mm, nope, this ain't it. But, case in point, the fuck is projectile area teleport? It's a homing of some description. Flannel Violin, how are you? Ugh. Shit, this ain't good. Yeah, let's get out of here, eh? I think that back in the day, and I don't know if it's changed back or not, but see these big guys down here? They used to summon enemies um, based on the number of times they were hit, not the damage they took. So it got really intense. Um, it would be overwhelming how just ridiculous that became. Um, it seems to be still bad, but not as bad, maybe? I don't know. Put area, but teleport. If a valid target appears somewhere in the proximity of a projectile, the projectile will teleport right on top of the target. Interesting.
Uh, it is Paul Newman's cheese pizza. Very basic, but I really like the flavor. Sorry. Four, four cheeses. Not just the one. We've got three more than that. Is this the drill again? Yeah, it is. All right. Yeah, that, the big guy used to be broken. He'd end up with like 30 people on the screen at once. It was just horrible. But we're talking, we're talking ancient days. Try shooting the one while waving my mouse around. I mean, we had a spread on it. I could have kept it. It that um, teleport might be amazing. That the teleport projectile thing might be amazing for. Um, uh, excuse me, what? Disagree with that? Can't get in there. This is intended. Have I done? Have I missed something? Homing Death Cross with damage field was one of the first builds you used to get a win. Yeah. <laughs> not intended. I, there's no way in. I, I don't... Well, maybe I could teleport in. If I teleport in, I might not be able to get back out. I think it's just like that. Uh, did we have a... I think there was a teleport on a fucking... Yeah, we could go back and get it. Long distance cast. Yep, I think I think there was one. And I'll buy that whack homing on our way back as well. Acid lava. Well, we won't find any lava. That's a that's a fact. Or a bottle of mana. Mana juice. Yeah, that'd be good too. Eats metal, huh? Spell cast that doesn't work. <laughs> Further up, god damn it. Give me a black hole, dude. You think the beam does it? Hmm.
Arsenal for being a fast way to get to the next run. <laughs> Thanks, Lula. Take it easy, dude. Hmm. I mean, we'll be in the jungle in no time. Problem is, I don't have anything that's really good for killing our friend. But we could collect a few wands in the jungle. Eh. Oh well, we don't get in. Cast delay projectile speed. Slow down. Spread. Hmm. Okay. I mean, the good news is we're... No, we're not fire immune, so that's irrelevant. Earthquake? Oh, shit. Makes the projectile crumble the earth it hits. Give me a projectile. We'll do a test in here. I don't think this is going to happen super fast, like... Oh shit, that bounces. Good to know, man. Um, right, so we need... Where'd I drop that? We need that. fine it's only it's only a baby baby uh baby quake things things never go wrong in this game Fuck is the blue flame. Ice ball. A magical ball of frozen fire. Good for Steve. Have to find out. Ah, <laughs> mm, no, not good for Steve. Um, maybe good for Steve? Shit, I don't know.
Okay. Not good for Steve. Healing bolts. Yeah. First things first. Let's make a better wand here. These can go. Probably don't need that. Think venomous curse. Oh, this is a single. All right, so we need a quad back. Wow. Correction, we do need that. That is expensive. This is so fast, we could probably get away with two. Or, get rid of that. No, we do need that. To a triple, move it over. Add the extra mana on there. Uh, did I not get a second? Ah, there it is. It's for sale. Maybe now's the time to bring out Death Cross. Hmm. More Noita tips on YouTube? No, sir. No. <laughs> no, he, no. No. No more. The teleport homing? With Death Cross? With Death Cross or with this? Magic bolt with. I'm not a big fan of that, that projectile. Uh, Winto, thank you, dude. 18 months. Wow, year and a half, huh? Merry Christmas to you, Tim friend. Hmm. We're going to have to find some stuff down here. That's all.
what is this one here? Chain spell. Black hole with death trigger. <clears throat> Just having black hole would be decent. Black hole's a black hole. Gas blood. You bleed flammable gas instead of blood. Does that make me fireproof? Most spells are bad. I mean, most spells can hurt you. I wouldn't say they're bad, though. Oh, it's poison. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Good for the jungle, I guess, but no. Phasing's good. High mana, low capacity, one off. Your currently held wand loses half its capacity but gains more mana. Bit fucking rough, isn't it? Frogler, yeah. Tonight, tonight is night miss eve day. So, c congratulations. Take facing. I still don't know if we have a, a boss killer here, or a, a worm killer, rather. Uh, good news is that we don't have to fucking fly up and over now. We can just dig through. Noite stream, it is true. We need some kind of damage modifier. Larry Dangerfield, thank you very much for the gifted sub. It's very kind. That's a shuffle wand, I bet. Yep. What have we got? Oh, I forgot to take Black Hole off. Oh, I know what that belongs to. Ed, thanks for the bits, dude. Ow! There's a flower! Ah, ducks. And thanks for the resub yourself, my friend. Thank you, Larry. That's a damage up. It's a crappy one, but it'll do. Actually, I don't know how that would work with homing. Larry with another gifted sub. Dude, you guys are too generous.
Merry Christmas to you as well. Okay, so even after it runs out, all we lose all we lose is homing. Maybe that's the problem. Let's get rid of that. And let's load this up. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Can we put the curse on now? Well, that would reduce the speed again because we were, we would run out of mana way too quickly. I'm going to get rid of this. I like the spread on it. Oh, the ducks explode? Oh, shit. How's the vomitorium today? Thank God we don't see them in the first level anymore. Maybe, maybe we do. I haven't, I haven't seen one yet. But that's where they used to show up. First levels, very tough. All I can think about is Isaac and how if we had uh, like shielded tears right now. <laughs> you love quantity over quality ones? I used to be the opposite. Single tar- okay. Single target hits. Um, Six thirty two ten recharge. Wow. Ah shit. But no, it's it's much more fun just covering the area with bullets. Damage up is gonna we're gonna have to slow it down again, I think. Cause this is gonna start chewing mana real quick. 10 for 4 shots, that's a lot. Although every single one of these is now going to be doing 15 damage. We'll see. What's Tuhu? I've heard of that before. That's the shooter game, right? Five mana drain. Let's have a look. It's not bad. It's not bad. I have to fight against. I have to fight against the knockback, but it works. Do I want anything else on here? Let's keep piercing shot, maybe. That's 
fun. That's really fun. Why can we not set that off? Is that a different kind of... Um, I know if I go near it. Oh, we got... What did that do? A create? A mine? I, I don't know. Weakening curse melee. No. Phasing moved out of the way? For real? Didn't know that was the thing. Oh, you know you're in trouble when he's opened the door for you. Drowning. It's not bad. It's bit, well, I mean, it's better than what we had. No. Whatever we stood on before was different than that. Was the life up? Oh, I missed it completely, yeah. Didn't even see it. We'll go back. Okay, let's get rid of these. Transfer everything. 323 recharge. 0.75. Yeah, we're going to need another speed up, I think. Single shot, no shuffle, nice. Two of those? Let's see what this is like. Might not need that, actually. Ah, crap. Slower, but we could get Poison Curse on there. How does it look with mana at the end? This one? Oh. But why is it rapid? I've never understood this. Because that removes the cast delay. That's with weakening curse. We take weakening curse off. Still way too fast. That's unreal, dude. We do have two of these, though. Take one speed up off. It's unlimited. 
ish. Two mana with Venom Curse. <clears throat> It'd have to be really good. Or removing that. Just fire in moderation. It's so weird how speed speed matters so much, huh? Yeah, I mean three quarters of a second. It's going to do that. I don't think I will ever understand that. And you know what? That's okay. It's almost like this one was... Well, no, we do have Weakening Curse. So this is this is a better for bosses, but less so for okay. Well, it's fine. We will try it. I'd rather not rebuild a couple of times. Do we want to keep this guy? Yeah, we do. And hopefully, we'll find something even better. One of the bubbles isn't getting the damage buff. Oh, it isn't now because I didn't put this back on. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Oh, it's fungal time, folks. It was fungal time for a second there. Couldn't find black holes? Oh yeah, well, yeah welcome to, to my life. Now where's all that fun fungus gone? Another damage up. Be right. Uh, one fifty five. There we go. Stand somewhere with zero liquid, please. Worm blood echoing and shifting. blood to oil. How do you, how do you recognize that? I 
have an oil effect on me? Oh, and that wasn't there before. So it gives you a it gives you a little bit of the stuff. Got it. Okay. Got it. Ah, huh. worm blood to oil. That's not exactly useful. be good against Steve. This will be my third Steve kill too. Another damage up. Wow. Very good. Sure. Rainbow Glimmer is just a visual effect, right? Circle of Transmog. Yeah, that was um that was one of my favorite things to get when uh when we're doing the no damage runs. And somebody told me as well, the number of orbs you've collected will, will dictate how many fish are in here. Is that true? I wasn't aware of that either. Damage up for the bubbles. Well, here's the thing. Do you want damage up or do you want... This. I think this is better. This seems to be shredding. Plus, it, this adds also delay. Yeah. <clears throat> what are the one situation in here? Good or... really have to wait for the next level for better ones. Bot ones are great. All right. Oof. Curse doesn't seem to last long, but it lasts long enough. Hello, McQueeb. How do you gather about half the viewership of Noita and everyone else is empty? Fucking years of playing the game. <laughs> I think Dunk said he was going to do a Christmas spectacular as well, right? He's playing Community Night. Getting out of Mexico was a nightmare? Really? Was it like in Sicario? Because that was bad. I'm going to dig through here. Oh no, I left my black hole on here. 
Oops. It's a lot of max mana. No, why I'm even looking at that. I gotta fight the big guy now, don't I? Shit. Yeah, this goes. I don't have to fight shit. Dude. I'm working here. Fucking jerk. There's a lot of cool shit on that wand. Like, a lot of cool shit. Alright. Alright, you want to go down? Let's go down. Gods, look the other way. You're goddamn right. Ah! No, I'm sorry. I, did, I didn't mean it. Remove explosion makes a projectile no longer explode. Give me a use case for that. Got some lightning bolts there. Required a COVID test to fly out. Hotel provides COVID tests due to multiple layers of incorrect information. Became not an option. Backup plan was to drive through test across the street from the hotel that took 20 hours to get results. PDFs that did not have the test result. 24 phone calls later and we're at the airport getting on-site last-minute testing. We get through all that and the plane won't start. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> That's messed up, dude. A remove explosion would be useful on lightning if you didn't have... Oh, okay. A nuke without the explosion? Come on, why? Why would you want that? has minus cast. Yeah, that's a big deal. I mean, we don't need it for this particular one, but that is, that's cool. Okay. 900, 300. What do you got? 10 slots. It's 0.65. Slightly better-ish. Less spread. Hmm. Ducks explode? You, you don't want the ducks to explode? You just want them to sit there? We're ducks, man. What do you want from us? Let's, um, let's actually use this real quick. Uh... Yeah, I 
don't think we need it. I need a, a bigger wand is what I need. But transferring all this over could be beneficial. It might be slightly faster. Although less recharge, right? 920. So we're losing 20. That's fine the way it is. Decent one though. Plasma across the run ender and <laughs> fuck you up real fast. Yep. <laughs> Ah, oh, no! Cursed rock. Shit. So what's the, what's the strategy? Do most people just go for a, um, like a, uh, what do you call it? A fungal shift every run? Is it something that you do if you're feeling brave? You try to get lucky and then restart if you fuck it up. while polymorphs rip ripperino how do you get multiple shifts zealousy you just wait five minutes and then you do it again <laughs> that's that's the game right there folks i can't even get mad progress 10 new that's new yes that one is new uh nope 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 Especially not. Nope. Any new enemies? No. That's there. That's good. Is it? Is it? Un, is it? I don't know. I don't know. My save files are scuffed. Depends on the length of the... If it's run, if it's short, doesn't really matter. But if you want... Most really want to shift poly... So, what's the story there? Do you hold on to the poly and then do the shift? Is that the thing? You end up rage quitting modded noity yesterday when you got one shot for 2k HP in the snow biome. From what? What what happened? So that enemy, the big... Um, where is he? The big guy. Uh... Why am I not seeing him? Doesn't seem to be there. One of these? No, that's a boss, I think. Bottom. Him. Ham on Taiva. Ham. Ham. Wait. Ha mon vai vai taja. Ha mon taja. Um, this fucker polymorphs you. I was turned into an enemy, and the enemies have next to no HP. Um, and then something hit me. Yeah. Oh, and you lose all of your buffs when you're not in human form. Human form. Even fungal shifty won't protect you protect you from that projectile. Right. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a run ender. It happened to me many, many times. Yeah, I'm used to that. New game. Let's go. We definitely doing that again. Fungal fungal shifting seems fun. What do we got? We got TNT? 
Wake up early, maybe. Ah. Save us having to come back later. Team T's great. Starting one. Yeah. What did I go back to when you started streaming and you had minimal viewers? What did I go back to? Oh, I don't know. I don't quite understand the question. I started streaming Minecraft 2019. Um, after Minecraft, I played Dicey Dungeons. That was the game that I was really excited about. It's like a puzzle dice game. It's really cool. Um, and it was probably one of the first... first roguelikes that I streamed I think it was the first roguelike that I streamed um, and I got right into that in fact that first episode way back when um, is on the VOD channel if you're really interested um, and then after that Noita came out very shortly after it was towards the end of I think, August to October October 2019 uh, yeah that's it the rest is, uh, the rest is history. Waiting for floppy nights? Uh-oh. This queeb. It's already opened a new tab, I can tell. Floppy nights. Oh, it looks very much like same sort of graphics. Not the same dev, though. That was Terry Kavanaugh, wasn't it? Oh, this looks cool. Strategy puzzle turn turn based roguelike quirky fun lighthearted buzzword. It is the same dev? Is that what Terry Kavanaugh called his game studio? Please don't kill me. I think it was legit just Terry Kavanaugh back then himself, like he self published. I don't know. Chips Chipsel did the uh, the the music for it. Um, if you recognize that name, probably know Super Hexagon from way back in the day on iOS. Flaming skulls are no hit run ender. Said the exact same thing earlier tonight. Yeah. Pisses me off that this isn't just a reskin and these guys actually have so much more health. It's like, oh, you feel like playing at Christmas time? Too bad. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, I don't know how to say your name, Sylvie C. You're asking a lot of questions about strategy, about growing community and whatnot. I'm not Queeb, but um, I'm his wife, and I can tell you that truly the only thing is to find a game that you love and build content around it. And even that might not be enough. Queeb didn't do anything special. Um, he, he truly got lucky with a game that happened to get a lot of attention in the community. I've got a pretty good uh, personality too. You do. Um, also, the vibe here on his channel, you've noticed there's not a lot of screaming, yelling, well, as long as I'm not talking. There's no crazy sounds, there's no bright lights, flashes or anything like that. 
Uh, it's because the vibe of this channel has been cultivated to be just a very chill zone. Um, so when people do come here, it's a, quite a different vibe from, say, Dunker Slam, which that's a vibe, and sometimes I'm in the mood for that, and other times I'm in the mood to chill out. So I would say, find a game you love, figure out what kind of community you want, and literally start. Just start. Um, if you're if you don't have a consistent schedule, get a consistent schedule. Even if it's a shitty schedule and some days you don't want to stream, stream on those days. Make sure that you're active on your socials. Make sure you're announcing when you're streaming. Talk to everybody who comes into your channel. Um, anyone who gives you shit, immediately block them or ban them. Get them out of there. Um, thank everybody who donates or subs to you. Make sure that you keep copies of your VODs. If not on Twitch, then definitely on YouTube. Th there are a lot of dad jokes. <laughs> um, but it, he hasn't done anything special. This community, it's small, but it's grown. And the people in here, there's a good vibe here. And you can have the same vibe too. You just need to work on it. This that, isn't, that's literally this, all it is. This channel is... is part of a very small niche on Twitch, I would say. Most channels, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of them have the alerts and, and you know, all of that kind of thing. And I just, I was never for that. Um, some of those, it's, and it's, that comes down to my, my needs as a viewer as much as it is a content creator. Um, if I'm in a, a channel and, you know, there's sound alerts and, all of this kind of thing that's it it gets too overwhelming for me and i kind of crafted my channel to be not the opposite of that because i don't i i re i respect the hell out of some creators that that run with that kind of thing but um it's not for me i wanted to create the opposite and um a lot of the people that i looked up to so people like a lethal frag or a cobalt streak um whom i've watched for for years and years and years um, I, I wanted to sort of create a, a calming place, um, uh, very similar to that. And, and I, I think we've done a really good job. Um, but there's, there's no hard and fast rules, right? For any of that sort of thing. Um, consistency is definitely important. Like, uh, for the longest time I didn't have a schedule. Um, and I was proud of that. Um. I shouldn't have been looking back. It was very arrogant of me. I'm like, well, I'm growing anyway. What the fuck do I need a schedule for? It's because people get to get to know you, right? People get to know when you're going to be live and, and it's important. I've since learned that saying things like you should have a schedule if you want to grow is somewhat ableist um, because some people can't do that. Right? Some people cannot stick to a schedule um, for whatever reason. At the time, I, I couldn't because of my, my work situation. I got laid off and I'm currently unemployed and as a result can stream whenever the fuck I want. Um, but since I think creating a schedule and having this event specifically, it's helped us, helped me a hell of a lot more to really respect that and to, to see even more growth as a result. People know when to show up. We got we got one dude. I don't know. Did he claim it today, Miss Queen? And every day he comes in and he gets this. Oh no! Nope. Today was frost. Someone else got it. Yes. Oh my god. And and he did not get it yesterday either. Who did? So I. Uh, we think it's someone whose name started with an M or a C. None of us can remember, but we do know that it was someone other than uh, Double M. I wonder if I can but scroll yes. back. Um. I do want to say someone, hold on, let me scroll up. Fudge, hi Fudge, says, this seems excessive, am I wrong, the whole social thing? And to that, I do want to say, I am not a gamer, I am not queeb, but I I have spent a, a, a big majority of my career in marketing and in social media, and it goes for pretty much anything. Wherever your potential audience is, is where you need to advertise yourself. If you are playing 
more mainstream games uh, and, and you're going for that vibe, those people are on social media. You can build a big chunk of your audience by doing co-op streams um, and introducing yourself that way and getting your name out there. Um, but it is going to be impossible to grow if you don't do any kind of social media, if you don't do um, any kind of co-op stream. And the reason for that is that Twitch is not and does not have a search engine. The only time that you are viewable on Twitch is if you, if someone has your name or if you are actively streaming and you happen to come up in, in the top of those results. And that's, that's not going to happen for most streamers. And that's why most streamers get tapped out. They don't see any, any uh, return on their time investment. And they're like, well, fuck this. I can't do this. Fuck this. It's too hard. And that's not it. It has been said time and time again by people like Devin Nash, by uh, Harris Heller. And I've seen it happen with Queeb. And so I do have to say that I think it works. You need to find your audience elsewhere and bring them in. So whether that's creating a YouTube channel or even streaming on YouTube and directing people to Twitch, if it's doing live streams on Instagram or TikTok, I mean, hell, even Twitter, if you've got some kind of pull there, but wherever it is, you, you will not find an audience just on Twitch unless the stars align perfectly yeah, you and need, that's not going to happen yeah a, a lot of luck required um game is part of it some people strategize the game they choose around the what do you call it popularity or or uh, what's the word um saturation of the game um i prefer not to do that but it's not as silly as it sounds um Um, regarding Melfina looked at, uh, yeah, regarding, uh, thank you, Monkey Lawn Gnome, five gifted. That's very cool of you, dude. And you're, you're, you're coming from a horrible experience in Mexico. I'm so sorry, but thank you. Happy Christmas really to you. I really appreciate it. Happy Christmas. Um, and, and Broquaint. Thank you, Broquaint. Thank you. You don't personally find the whole banning toxic behavior terrible? So that's something I need to, I've been forced to do, right? As a channel grows, and we're, we're sort of in the early stages of growth, but as it grows, whatever you allow in the beginning is going to be the the benchmark moving forward. Um, and as a result, I've now had to shift my goalposts and potentially, quote unquote, alienate, according to one viewer the other night, some of my viewers. Um, if that's the case, then that's the case. So be it, right? Um, I would, I would much rather get rid of someone who's toxic, regardless of the support, by the way, I don't care if you're our number one supporter on the channel. If you are introducing a negative aspect to the channel, um, you, you be gone. Um, I still will allow people a chance cause I'm human myself and I like to see growth, but some people don't take me up on that offer. And, um, as a result, I have had to leave. Thank you, bro. It's very kind, man. Um, Melfina, regarding Hover. They approached me very, very early on, um, wanting to partner with me. I declined based on their current roster of people they've chosen to partner with. Um, that's a that's a conversation for another day. But yeah, there's there's a there's an element to that that I don't really want to associate with. What's hover? It's a third party application. Think of it like um, TikTok, but for Twitch vods and and Twitch clips exclusively. Um, so hop. I didn't want to get into this. Let's just say the partners are are have been shitty to other people shitty towards people with legitimate concerns, legitimate questions about the platform. Um, I love TikTok. Uh, I don't know if I've grown from TikTok. Well, that's not true. I've had people come over and say, hey, found you on TikTok, and I've, I've met really good friends from TikTok. I found McLaffy Taffy through TikTok. Um, 
I love it. We, we're a very pro TikTok family in this household. I've said that many, many times. And uh, I think we'll be forever. Just it's, it's, uh, I, I, there's a stigma to the app, but we, uh, we adore it here in this, in this family. Lily, you asked, how do you feel about niche versus variety content? Um, That's again, I cannot speak for Queeb, but I, I've heard him talk about it many times. Um, to be honest, unless you have the most amazing personality, the most amazing setup, and you get lucky right off the bat, variety content will not work. Uh, for some people it does, and it's because it's a, it's a very specific type of game. We have streamer friends who, for instance, they focus on Mario games. They focus on Pokemon. Like, staying in that genre and they don't really stick to Retro. A, a, exactly mm -hmm. and in that regard it will work but niche is where you will get the most bang for your buck it's all about branding it is and you're wanting to build your brand now that said let's say that you start your stream uh like like wait let, let's say that you started doing minecraft and you do Minecraft for a while and you're like, you know what? I just, I need to switch it up. This, I don't like it. People don't seem to enjoy me playing it. So let's switch it up. It's totally fine for you to switch niches into something that fits you better. I absolutely wouldn't switch niches to fit an audience better. I would make sure that you enjoy it first because we have a prime example in our very home right now who is playing a game that he played for a very long time and got very popular with it. And then all of a sudden just burned out and he's like, I can't play it and literally dropped it and walked away from the game. He hasn't played it for. Yeah, I, I took a big months. hit in viewership as well. But because he switched from playing Noitet literally every single fucking night to now where he is a variety streamer and yeah he plays isaac but for the most part he sticks with indie stuff he's built up the type of audience that he wants um the people here know that that he is the indie guy he's going to play indie games eh, he'll play isaac uh just because that's like his you know his his game du jour but he will switch and he he does have a, a tendency to switch if he stayed with Noita or or another or this one or, or um, what was it Isaac, if if he just stuck with that, he would have far far bigger viewership, but he would not be happy. And when you get to that point of you you have so much viewership, then you have a lot of stuff banking on. You're like, oh shit, I have to stream today. The last thing I want to do is stream the stupid ass game, but I can't because I'm getting five and six hundred people in my chat and I don't want to let them down. But God damn it, I am so tired of this fucking game. I've had that I've had those conversations with creators, friends of mine. Um, mm -hmm. They play Noita. They still play Noita because it brings in higher viewership than any other game that they play. Um, and I've had people tell me that they don't want to be doing it. And that's the worst place to be. Um, personally speaking, that would be awful. And by the way, thank you so much. Especially for your little, your little crying Bible thump, whatever that is. I love it. Thank you. And thank that's, you for that. That's Isaac, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Um, and Fudge, it's me, Miss Queeb. I am married to the Queeb. Uh, so yeah, like, you absolutely need to pick your poison and figure out what you want to do. Because if you, if you figure out what game can get you the most bang for your buck and get started as early as possible and build an audience that way, bringing consistent content, a very friendly atmosphere, great to your viewers, and your viewers are consistently hosting you and dropping in and giving you raids, uh, as well as doing co-ops, you you can get very popular very quickly. It, it's happened to many, many people, but you do have to keep in mind that if you stick with one game, 
that is your game unless you cultivate your audience in such a way that they will follow you like even with Queeb leaving Noita tons of people dropped off because they were into Noita he didn't want to play it anymore so obviously they're going to go and there's nothing wrong with that nothing at all uh, I mean, I came into following McQueen during the subathon thing with Final Fantasy XII and a bunch of other games. Oh, thank you, Marwell. The um, the 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 best piece of advice: turn your numbers off. Enjoy what you do. If you if you keep the numbers on, you're going to be stressing about that more than anything else, and uh, it is it is it is mentally draining. Um. Just, just focus on enjoying what you do, producing good content. If you can, throw up educational content. Somebody in here earlier said, "Will we see more, um, you know, guides and tips and shit on on YouTube?" And I, I said, "No, because that's not what I'm interested in doing right now, about especially about this game." But educational content is huge. If you can get known for a particular game, um, it didn't hurt that YouTube pushed me very heavily when people search for this game. I think that's still true to this day. Um, and, and you know, people popped over. The, the conversion's probably very low from, from other platforms, but it's there. You, you've got to do what you love, otherwise you will hate it, and within a couple of months you'll give up. is right see it as a hobby with benefits not as a business until it is an actual business yeah like view it as a hobby until it gets to a point where you realize oh shit i'm actually making a fuck ton of money at this i i should probably do this full time or, or figure out my schedule or do something to, to be frank we're not there yet um mm -hmm. i barely pay rent with with what i make on twitch and i'm still looking for another full-time job um, I don't want to give up streaming at all, but I, I mean, I've, I've worked for what, was it two years, one and a half, two years whilst doing streaming as well. Um, and I, I did, it, it was fucking hard work and it, I gotta be honest without Miss Creed, that wouldn't have happened. She does a tremendous amount in the house, around the house. Um, thank you. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you, so. Ant says, I'm up in North Cal, down in LA, there's peacelovingpitbulls.org, they do kissing booths. Mm. I have heard of the infamous kissing booths. I haven't seen any since uh, the the uh, Panini Press started. Uh, are they still doing those kissing booths? Because you know what? I need to make me feel better some days. Kisses from Pitbulls. That would make me very happy. Yeah, that would probably help you out a lot. <laughs> it would. Either that or uh, if they kiss, if someone did a kissing booth with snakes, I would be so happy. Oh my god. Give Business opportunity, Miss Queen. Oh, I could be a trillionaire. Oh my god. Absolutely. And then someone will get bit and it's like, <laughs> oh fuck. I know, right? I had a buddy that streamed at one point. He only got views when playing a game that is dead now, even though he tried to branch out into different games. I think the issue, though, isn't so much trying to branch out to different games, but different types of games. It's that. It, it, it's it's this weird Venn diagram. Elad, thank you so much. You you need to figure out. Elad. What what game or type of games will make you happy, right? That's Merry one Christmas circle. to you, dude. Then you need to figure out what type of game or games you f you could see yourself playing full time, and and I think that that's the key. Like, unless you like again with my with our friends who play Mario games, it's literally a different type of Mario game, like every time. But that's their niche. Niche. It's always retro. Sometimes it's new, but for the most part, it's it's any Mario game. If you can set yourself up in a way like that, it would be perfect, right? So it's what you love, what you can do, and what people want to see. As far as what people want to see, that's going to be a delicate game. Uh, that's like finding a game that is still getting search results on Twitch, 
but isn't overplayed. You want to be able to show up on at least the first page of Twitch because how many people search for a game and they actually not are even you want to through. appear in the first three mm -hmm. lines. Right. Honestly, otherwise you, you might as well not even. Exactly. It's generalization, but you know what I mean. Right. Discovery is terrible. Um, some well, some people will raid out to you know smaller streamers. They call them smaller streamers. I hate the term, but it's sort of lexicon at this stage. Um, and uh, they'll look for people who who don't have the biggest viewership. So they'll scroll right to the bottom and then select you know someone who's who's just starting out or or you know has a smaller um, has a smaller audience. I've I've been lucky. What was said just then, like personality matters it does this is I, I am who i am i don't put anything on right um but this is also the confidence that i have to talk to people has come from like i'm about to find my very first stream that i saved um i started recording with dicey dungeons um and the difference is night and day and it's it's weird as shit when you start out talking to nobody it's like, it's so fucking just bizarre. Um, there are a few people in chat who are telling their stories. Uh, again, I don't know how to say your name. I think it was Sil Silvisi, something like that. Um, there are a lot of people who have anecdotes about this. Uh, so I would definitely advise you checking them out. Uh, Meridian says that's respectable. Hope to see. Hope to see you're able to make streaming your thing. That would be amazing if we could. Hundred percent. Like, I'm. I haven't had any luck finding a job despite applying for well over a hundred at this stage since August. Um, and, and that's that's one of the reasons why I'm I'm taking this whole. Um, you know, you know, we're looking at different revenue sources. We're looking at things like Throne and having the schedule and merch lines and Miss Queeb is like really focused on getting new merch up now because we've ha been having so much supply difficulties and, and stuff like that like it's a it's a monumental job and I don't think people realize it they think you know can it be a career yeah but a very small number of people can make it a career I was watching Elad well before I started streaming I've been watching him for for years and years um one of the one of the people that inspired me to start in the first place. Um, it's 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 just, it, it's yeah. It it's not it's not for everyone, and it's it's hard. It's a hard road. I am fucking exhausted. Thirteen hour streams every day for the last two months, I think ish. Um, it's been longer than that, darling. But you have stuck to a schedule. Trying to. We, and, we, we're getting and, there. And even, even if it's not set hours, it's a, sh a set shift, for lack of a better word. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes you may, you may not start at the same time, you may not end at the same time, but generally speaking, it is late night overnight. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning sometimes. And that's... I, I, I think that's that's pivotal. But again, like like there is there is no science. There is no one plus one equals two here. Because there are people who bust their asses and they they play amazing games that that are popular but not too popular and they they're trying to build an audience and it's not working for whatever reason and then you have to start getting into okay well shit am i am i greeting people when they come in am i am i talking too much am i not talking enough am i taking too many breaks am i not taking any breaks am i overwhelming people do i need to learn how to speak in a better tempo do I need to to upgrade my camera, my mic? Like, what is it? And you have to get into problem solving mode and figuring it out. We have been lucky, however, this has been a grind. We are now at two and a half years. We had our uh, Queep had his two year anniversary in July. Yep. So we're at two and a half years, and we're at the numbers that we're at. 
So if you if you if you want to make it work, you could make it work. It will not be easy. If you're lucky, it it, it you would be able to make it a lot quicker. But it is a slog, and you have to be prepared for that. But I don't know. I w I would think that if you're if you're putting in the grind and you're you're streaming all these games and, and doing whatever, and it's not working for you, let like you're not getting the pull. If you're at the very least, if you're not happy with what you're doing, that's the problem. Because if you're happy, then who cares if there's there's one person at most in the chat dude that person chose to hang out with you exactly watch you um let me see do, 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 do. Swirl. it's nice being in smaller streams this is one of the bigger streams that i've been in and my voice is consistently heard it's one of the reasons i come back that was from meister bear it's it's so i'm still at the stage where reading chat is very easy for me um, and that's that's a that's a learned skill, right? That's not something that will just come um, straight away. Uh, it's very difficult to multitask, and you get pulled in many many different um, directions all at once. Um, I I like I have a few mods. They don't really need to be here, though. Like, I, I do everything myself, pretty much, whilst I'm live. Actually, thank you so much for subbing for four months. Thank you. We appreciate you. Um, Reed is a man of mystery. People want to know what is under that hat. We know. Save those fucking points. <laughs> um, I did see earlier someone uh, said kissing booth. Wouldn't it be called a hissing booth? And I didn't... <laughs> I, I I skipped over that dad joke <laughs> and it just clicked and I'm like, are you fucking kidding that's me the, right That's now? not a dad joke. That is perfection. That is amazing. A hissing booth. <laughs> a hissing booth. I... That's a shirt. I'm going to make a shirt. I don't know how because I can't draw for shit, but I'm going to do that. We're going to do hissing booth. Super cute. Uh, it's where he keeps the rest of his beard that isn't being used at the moment. Uh, I said all of y'all are straight money and love, and someone said we're four dollars. I guess that makes them a bargain. Thank you, Marwall. Appreciate it. <laughs> what was your full-time work before industry? I think he was. Yeah, he was in IT. I really liked my job. I was put through a bad situation with that job. I won't go into details. Um. I'm still looking, though. I'm still looking. Either this kicks off in a big way and I can stop looking or I keep looking and I do both simultaneously again um, and be even more tired. No, no, no. You are amazing. You, and you're asking good questions that lead to conversation that helps lead chat to open up to us, which means we can open up to them and, and back and forth. So, no, thank you. Being serious. Being genuine is one thing that I wanted to do from the beginning. Um, I've told this story before, and, and some of you have probably heard this, but when I told somebody at work what I was planning on doing or, or what I'd started doing, the very first thing that came out of his mouth was, you need you need a gimmick, you need, you need a character. Um, and, and he was referring to Dr. Dr. D, and I just said that I'm not about that like that's that that to me would add a layer of exhaustion on top of what I'm already doing and I wasn't I wasn't for it um am I doing the right thing here is this water there's a cloud I, I figure it's water I filled this thing to the fucking top this is the wrong thing isn't it you don't get the hype around Dr. D he's very good at what he does um and, and there's a space for that on, well, maybe not this platform, but there's a space for this, for that on, on, you know, on, in the live streaming space. Um, you need steam there. Oh, 
not okay it's cloud it's it's not rain cloud miss queeb it's steam oh well no yeah i should have i should know better <laughs> Not Vorin says, I disagree with your friend. Not everyone needs a gimmick to be good. It's, it's not necessarily about a gimmick. It's about at the, at the core of it, it's consistency, whether that's consistency with your personality, consistency with your games, consistency with, uh, your entertainment value, because at the end of the day, Queep is an entertainer. All of these streamers are entertainers. If they weren't entertaining or bringing some kind of value in some way, they would not have an audience and this would not be a marketable skill. But for them, for those friends, it just so happened that those two friends, and, and it's funny because it's one of Queeb's friends and one of my friends. And and now we're 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 both friends with both friends, if that makes sense. Um, both of them were able to find marketability in playing retro games, playing Mario, playing Pokemon, sticking with that. And that is their gimmick, their niche is that literally every every week one of them plays a niche retro Nintendo game. Sometimes Sega, like very rarely, it's usually Nintendo. Uh, his graphics are built around uh, Nintendo. His, uh, his game of choice, whenever he does co-op streams or charity streams, Nintendo, that is his thing. Um, but it is going to be a consistency issue. You just have to figure out where can you be consistent. I need fire, Ms. Queep. Fire plus water equals steam, FYI. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like that one little game. Where you, you take the picture and combine it with the picture. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. There's, it's like, it's a web browser game and then they turned it into an app. It's called like Little Little Earth or something. And you start off with one thing and you have to oh. like double it and combine it. It's like yeah. the, the bear one. It was a bear one, it's very similar to that, I think. Yeah, that one. Photoshop, Photoshop, yes. But th this was an actual game. Like you would take um, the fire and you would combine it with the water and make steam and then with the steam you can use that to make what's the place. true story behind the name can't, i can't tell you i can't tell you alchemy thank you james thank you alchemy yeah i love it i can zone out with it but then i get to a point where i'm just really frustrated and i have to look up stuff and then i'm just not done doodle god i think the concept is the same same guys that made doodle jump yeah Weird question, sorry if it's been asked, how come Ms. Queeb uses your own mic separate? Um, because he is on that side of the office and I'm on this side. And the easiest way was for me to call in through Discord. There's... It's clunky. I sound like I'm calling in from Holland. This is a dynamic microphone as well, which means that um, it will not pick up everything. I had to, remember when Ms. Queeb and I did the stream where we played Binding of Isaac together? And I had to set I, the whole thing up. He was so annoyed. It, it sounded like shit because we didn't really have time to, to properly <laughs> test it. But I needed to use a, a, a different mic. Mm -hmm. um, because because it, it picked us both up. This one's a very... You, you need to be close proximity. Um, however, I have asked if I continue being a part of Queeb's stream, if I haven't asked him outright, but I have mentioned that I would like my own mic. I would like my own little button and my own little mic. So if he says something, I can like push the button and I can say stuff and it doesn't we're sound like set I'm that calling up. Yeah. Yeah. But that's something that we're already working on because I will be starting streaming myself. Shuma Garoth one gave us 100 bits. Thank you so much. Thanks, Shuma. And said, there's a guy in town who walks around talking to himself using only figurative language. We call him the village idiom. That's good. That's good. That's good. You know what? That was worth it. That was worth the 100 bits. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Queems. Yeah. Yeah. You might as well get the follow in now. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she will be streaming shortly. It'll be, I think, mainly chats, you said, right? But it's, with the occasional be, game? So it, it's doing? mainly going to be a 
a bullshit stream, let's be real. It, it's going to be us talking about whatever, uh, whatever chat brings to the table, maybe some pop culture, just so we have topics that come in in addition to whatever chat generates. And I'll either be talking on stream, I will uh, play games if, if an interesting game comes up, or maybe we'll do like games once a week or something, since I do plan on uh, streaming at least three days a week. Uh, doing that if even if we decide i don't know to do a cooking stream just randomly but the uh it will be chatting first like bullshit first gaming second annoyed annoyed anoita mcqueeb is the noita we talked about this earlier um on stream during the pre-game do you guys remember the noid from the domino's commercials did you know the Noid had his own video game? I did. <laughs> you know why I know? Because I used to work at Domino's. Oh, and you had to push it? No, no, no. They, um, they, they talked about it like it was like a huge deal and how it was a huge deal that I and my fellow coworkers did not have any access to anything like that because we were, uh, we were, we were low on the totem pole. In North Texas, uh, all the dominoes, they have a call center. So everything in North Texas, you literally dial one number and it all goes to a call center. And then those calls are distributed to the local dominoes. And that's where we worked. There is a mod for Noita to turn Noita into the Noid. There is not. There is not. Somebody said there's a new adventure mode, and I watched somebody play a little bit of it. Um, I don't know, it's very complicated. Looks like you need a lot of skill to play that. Like, like late game knowledge kind of skill. Um, not I'm not sure the guy. I'm not the guy. Or the year before, but I actually came up with a parody of 12 Days of Christmas into 12 Days of Winter. Should I post it here or in Discord? Uh... Where can you put it in Discord? If it's a song, throw it in the music Discord. If it is a uh, a uh, video, throw it in movies. Absolutely. Uh, Queeb will uh, will probably definitely jump on that. That sounds completely up his alley. I think we got to take this down. It'll just be text. Oh, that's cute. Uh, yeah, go ahead and put it in general. Would that be more than fine? Thank you. Oh, it's called Purgatory. Oh. Because I've, I've seen that thrown around recently, too. I thought it was called Adventure Mode. Now. I love that ants in the kitchen. It, by the way, I hate your name. So I hate your fucking name. I thought I about you when when Ugh. I saw that earlier. Yeah, we we have a bit of an ant problem here from time to time. Uh, Usually late summer, it's when we. And, uh, it's, and it's always in the office. Oh, like all over my desk. They, they get everywhere. It's it is it is foul. I want to just claw my eyes out. It's just I, as soon as I see them, I shriek. I'm like, I can't do this. Uh, there's cer certainly some challenges that are solved with software like that, but they like making challenges on their own. Someone mentioned... You're still talking about the Noid? No. Uh, Meister, general game chat is totally fine. Opinion on Moist Critical slash Penguin Zero. He seems alright. Very popular. Um, I don't know a lot of his content. I only ever watch him talking to the camera. Um, but he's done very well for himself. Aren't you Australian? Don't you have problems with literally any animal type on your continent? <laughs> That's fair. It, it, it's, it's fair. I will say this. I will say this much. I have a list of reptiles and snakes that I I did at one point want to acquire. Probably not anymore, just because I'm I'm tapped out with my energy and with my time. But if I were to solve the problem of time or 
or uh, energy. Most of the creatures on that list happen to be from Australia. Like, <laughs> it's so stupid. Like, I, I was talking to Queeb about it. I'm like, ooh, a carpet python. He's like, yeah, we have those there. And he just sounded bored by it. Skink or gecko, which is better? I like skinks because they're fat little lizards with tiny little arms and legs. Like, teeny tiny. And they look like a, a kindergartner drew them. With geckos, they're tiny, they're fast. They can drop their tail. Worth it. <laughs> uh, sometimes can be extremely uh drop extreme. bears <laughs> you've heard about this right miss creep drop drop bears no so they don't exist um it's people say it's like a some kind of weird um koala offshoot right um, they don't exist, but there's this sort of unwritten rule whenever Australians get together in uh, a different country that you, you roll with it. You, you go with with the with the urban legend that yeah, my my friend got caught by a drop bear once. And there's this video online. It's it's stupid. It's like this sort of um, found footage thing. Um, Yeah, it, it 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 sounds. Speaking as a Southern American, it sounds like general Australian fuckery. That's literally what it sounds like. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. No, I figured. Like like we've been together long enough. I I understand what I married into. I get it. It's not me. <laughs> it's the other ones. Yeah, but. You got in a group, you would be going along with them. I certainly would. It, you have to. You, you don't have a choice at, at that stage. Blue tongue lizards are pretty chill. They will fuck you up. If they get a hold of your finger, oh my god. Hey, uh. There's also pink tongued skinks that are a little bit more rare than blue tongue, but people tend to not go after them because, you know, they would rather have a blue tongue, tongue skink. Uh, our breeder adopted a, um, hold on. Oh, my brain. Um, he adopted a Savannah monitor when it was like tiny, like, like thumb size. And now it's about the length of like, I don't know, like, like, like a, a cocker spaniel, right? And, uh, like the chillest little thing, like, I understand it's a savanna. I, I, I will not get a savanna monitor. I don't think I'd get any kind of monitor, but, uh, yeah, like just fucking amazing lizards. I, if I didn't, if I hadn't gotten loaf, back in uh may i i would probably have a rhino iguana or something by now and Fucking unfortunately loaf, man. unfortunately i i chose the dog would you ever try and look after a tegu no and here is why do not google this they drop their tail like as a fear it, mechanism as a fear mechanism and and not all lizards do it like iguanas i chose iguanas specifically because they do not drop their tail mm. um, i didn't think there was anything wrong with it until i i made the mistake of googling and i clicked images and it it's so terrifying even just in a photo but apparently when they drop it it wiggles around i'm like nope mm -mm, i'm good they also drop their tail, but yeah, exactly. And I'm, I can't, I, I, I cannot. I, there is a line. That's it. However, if they didn't drop their tail, absolutely, we, we would have at least two. They are amazing. They're wonderful. They don't eat, uh, 
They don't eat, eat rats, that's for damn sure. <laughs> they just eat plants. Uh, maybe eggs. I don't... I'm not gonna have to worry about them. Uh, I think they're, they're wonderful. There's a guy in Texas, his name... I think it's like Wild... Wild Rose Tagus or something like that. He he has a, a YouTube channel, and he, he over the pandemic they started breeding tegus and they have like a fuck ton. And he has a bunch of different varieties. They're expensive. He seems like a knowledgeable breeder. Um, if I were going to get one, I'd get one from him. However, um, no, they drop their tail. <laughs> I will not. Um. Mon for man, hi, says, how do you get the Santa hat? I've already linked it. Yeah, it's a mod. Okay. Uh, I've got, a Liz I've got a beard. Hi. Yes. Um, it is a fear mechanism. Geckos can do it. Tegus can do it. Others can do it. Um, whenever you get to, like, I don't think monitors can. Uh, iguanas can't. And that is the main reason why I've decided on an iguana, just because number one, they cannot drop their tail. Number two, they do not eat any kind of insects or, or, or rodents. They just eat plants and eggs. What's my opinion on axolotls? They are exceptionally hard to take care of if you don't do a fuck ton of research. Played Spelunky too? Fucking hate them. <laughs> They're, I love the, the ones in Spelunky too. They were cute. <laughs> um, they are... Um, they have a very specialized care list. And... It's... It, it, it's, it's chaotic. You sure ask a lot of questions? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like how this has become the reptile question power hour. Oh, you get misqueef started on, on any reptile you... talk. It, it doesn't stop. Did you just name the stream? Did you just name my stream? <laughs> reptile question power hour? Because you know why? All I think of are those Jesus weightlifters from the 90s. The power team. That's all I think about. But instead of the power team and like lifting for Jesus, they're lifting for snakes. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Axolotls can also randomly decide to become salamanders too. That's why one of the reasons they are endangered. They can um, choose to change? Or to a different just, breed? That just sounds just... Imagine, imagine your kid, like, like for instance, um, my friend's daughter, like we're so close. I call her my niece. She has two axolotls, and she did like a, a ton of research on them herself. She's like nine, did all of this research. Uh, she picked out what enclosure she wanted and the stuff. Like, like she's gone hardcore. I can only imagine how pissed off she would be if she got these axolotls, and they just decided, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna be a salamander. And I wouldn't be able to take them seriously because of, like, the Voyager episode where they turn into salamanders. Like, there's uh, there's no way. Human. I think the first time I got interested in reptiles was weirdly enough because of V. That was such a weird show. I'm assuming you're talking about the new show that, that was cancelled and not the old, uh what's it what's it called when it's like like a like a limited like special series because the old v wasn't a tv show but it was like a like a I, what, what is the name of it you know what i'm talking a mini about series? yes thank you mini series sorry I'm american. I'm american but my english not so good lmao the transport voyager episode <laughs> In the, uh, I'm in this Star Trek ship posting group on Facebook, and that episode, it's, it has to be mentioned at least once a day. Like, between that and Janeway being a murderer <laughs> for killing Tuvix. <laughs> Shuma, with 100 bits, which prehistoric reptile had the best manners? The plesiosaur? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> That's a good one. We're, we're stretching. I... We're stretching. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. Uh, it says Paris and Janeway go salamander. If you haven't seen the episode, um, very long story short, uh, Captain and the cute boy turn into salamanders. They drop them off on a planet. They go and have babies. They come back. They're turned back into humans, and it's never referenced again. Really? It's never referenced. <laughs> It is, it, and was is, is correct. It was extremely fucked up. Like they took the Borg and they were just like, you know what? We have this extremely OP species. Just, just hanging out. We're gonna put a, a ship in their territory. You know what? Let's just, let's make them cuddly. Let's just cut off their fangs. Let's just like make them not a threat and, and now i mean not counting discovery because discovery is so far in the future that we can't really do anything and picard doesn't really go into it but now it's just kind of like well yeah. we, we we got nothing to do we 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 took care of the board they're they're not really our enemy but they're not really a concern and we don't really care anymore and they're wait not are, a they, threat. are the board the only threat mm, um up until eh, like, Voyager is questionable because you're introduced to to species that you never see again. There's like the Herogen, which I thought the Herogen were badass. Like they they were essentially hunters, so any species they came across, they wanted to to hunt it and make sure that they had a trophy, quote unquote. Um, uh, uh, like like. What was the... I don't want to have to Google this shit. I'm having to cheat. God damn it. Species, enemies, what the... the they, they take their skin and like weird... T -t 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 -t. The weird ones. Five villains we love to hate. That's not a villain, it's a reason. Marwal is correct. The Herogen, they were Star Trek's take on... Um, on Predator. Like, that that's literally all it was. They they looked less cool. Um, species 845, or eight, that's what I was thinking of. Basically, Voyager went in league with the Borg, or rather, Borg went in league with Voyager. They're like, yeah, we know that we want to kill you guys, but there's this other guy, and like, we need some help. So we like team together, and they might not kill you, and Voyager's like, okay. Sorry, can you explain sure. to me again why Star Trek is better than Star Wars? Um, I don't know. I, 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 I've heard that the last couple of Star Wars aren't very good. I mean, like, like, let me Oh, you're just a hater. <laughs> I haven't even seen the last one. Because it's sci-fi, not sword and sorcery with robot What? <laughs> the Vidians. What? Thank you. The Vidians. They invented this species that they could not, um, like, they would essentially die off because their, their body parts would just go sick and just, like, go null and void, right? So they would kidnap other people from other species and take their their body parts their skin their their organs and replace their own it was gruesome it was disgusting at one point like, uh three three of them were kidnapped Delana, tom and who's he what's it? bro ted whatever his name is get kidnapped, they're gonna be harvested. They, the Vidians realize that, uh, Lana is part Klingon, and Klingon DNA genetics is, is more resistant to, uh, the Fae, which is the, uh, I sound like a fucking nerd, the <laughs> sort of disease. So, for one episode only, it wasn't even the whole episode, like, half an episode, the Vidians 
split Alana, so they extracted her Klingon DNA, so she had an all Klingon person, and then all of her human DNA into a human person. So of course the human's like all meek and sad, blah blah blah. And then the the Klingon version of her is just all like all this shit. And it was never talked about again, except in the episode when I found out she was pregnant with Tom's kid. Uh, she looked at a skin of the baby and saw that it was going to look Klingon because, hi, she's part Klingon. And then she started jacking with the DNA and wanting to eliminate source code and all this so her kid didn't look like a, a Klingon. And it was like a whole thing. I'm... Napalm is correct. Just just every Star Trek fan listening. <laughs> it, like... I didn't realize how fucked up Voyager was until I started a rewatch. Melfina, I love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Merry Christmas. Have a good Christmas uh, post Christmas day. We don't have Boxing Day here. Um, I watched Voyager as a kid and I was like, ah, Deep Space Nine, that's scary. And I wasn't into it. And then during the Panini Press at the beginning last year, I started watching Deep Space Nine. And even though I've like completely neglected it, and I started a rewatch of every episode in chronological order, not in like like release order, obviously. And um, I saw Deep Space Nine for the first time, and it it's wonderful. I love it. It's 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 perfect. Like, just, were there characters I did not like? Absolutely, but it was just amazing. It was perfect, it was brilliant. Um, and it was only then that I realized, because what I was going to do was, as a kid, I watched uh, TNG and Deep Space Nine was released after, but Voyager was kind of released in the middle. So I just went TNG to Voyager as a kid, and I never went to Deep Space Nine. Last year, I watched TNG, and then I went to Deep Space Nine, and I tried watching Voyager, and I'm like, what is this shit? Like, what the fuck is this? It's stupid. Random trivia fact, three major Star Trek actors from, I want to say, TNG are in XCOM 2, War of the Chosen as major characters. Really? You can elaborate on that. I would like to know more. I don't play that game, but I would like to know. Ed says Klingon DNA is the shit. It, it obviously is. It doesn't make you a good father or anything, but it does make you the shit. Uh, one is about stars walking, other about stars fighting. Which one would you rather watch? Voyager is not really a good example of Star Trek's big positives. Like the whole storyline was just convoluted. I mean, Janeway, questionable ethics. She missed Mark with the dogs and all this shit, and she wouldn't go after Chakotay. And then, like, the whole Chakotay seven of nine romance was, like, shoved down our throats, and it was just bullshit. Uh, the Vidians, they were actually mentioned once again in the episode Think Tank. Thank you, Ed! I'm not that big of a nerd to, to know that, but thank you. Uh, I have a question inspired by Weird Al Yankovic's white and nerdy. Do you prefer Car Picard? I mean, if we're gonna be real, Cisco. Let's let's be real here, Cisco. But out of those, Picard. Yes, this is only developing antagonists. DS9 and Voyager are actually my favorites of that period. <laughs> Poor Alexander. I felt so bad for him. Like, the next time we saw him, he was an adult, and it was just, uh, like, it it happened just when we were starting to realize that Worf was, uh, we're like, oh, Worf, he's not that bad, and and he's, he's okay marrying someone who technically used to be a man and in a time where it wasn't really talked about on TV and oh that that's cool it doesn't seem like he would be into that but that's cool and and you know yeah girl she's stronger than him at some point in her life and blah 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 and all this and just as as we think we're getting around to like getting to know the real war for like oh shit he had a kid fuck 
Kai Wen. I hate her so much. She did... Uh, that actress, she did such an amazing job. Of course, it was Nurse Ratchet. The only Nurse Ratchet could make that character come to life. Wei Yoon was a wonderful Goldicott, everybody's daddy. I have not watched any of the below decks. The thing didn't cure the Vidians, they just mentioned it once. We are too deep discuss degrees of nerd. <laughs> Kai Wen hating her is a joy. She was <sighs> She was a delight. <laughs> um I mean, Deep Space Nine had its flaws, absolutely, but Meister Bear says, I think we're missing is a chainsaw for the wand. Oh, oh yeah, the game, right. Um, um, right, yeah, uh, chainsaw, yep. Mm -hmm. We were having a sesh. Critical, thank you. Let me check. Hold on. Yes, I start you ruined it. Uh, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird run. I can't really get a hold of anything here. I've still got to go back up to the top, if that's even possible. Because uh, I left a, a perk up there. Way to go. Critical, I did get your message uh, that you said that you are in Australia, so I will get you a gift card. Give me a moment. Let me see. And monster. Is monster in orbit. here? Monster, if you can hear me, if you're still here, can you please retype your email address to me? I want to make sure that, but like, but like it's it's kind of long. I want to make sure that I get this right. Can you please confirm that for me? Battlestar Galactic was great. You made me watch that. Yes. I didn't think you liked it. I I did like it. It was very. It, so it it does this thing that a lot of sci-fi series does, which is it's first season is kind of clunky like they're 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 kind of getting their sea legs which is totally fine i thought the first season was one of the best but go on uh the next couple of seasons are are kind of like they're, pr they're pretty damn good like you're getting into the groove and then at some point it just completely goes off the rails and nothing makes sense and they're trying to wrap up storylines to get the series done and over with um i did know about Battlestar Galactica before I watched it because I actually was a huge fan of Caprica. And I hate that it was cancelled. Caprica was amazing. Slightly off topic, did you watch Babylon 5? Uh, did we? I didn't. Okay, no, we, we did not see that. I have not seen Babylon 5. Uh, DS9 had a crew consisting of outcasts, not just a Spock or a Data Wolf. Just, uh, even since I was an outcast, since he represents Starfleet, and places in Starfleet, and Cardassian. They should have been Bajor. But it worked. It worked. Like, out of. Normally, yeah, like, it, it's a whole crew, and, like, on TNG, it was Data and Worf. And, yeah, they all have little perks, but for the most part, like, Data and Worf were kind of like the the outcast punching bags, right? And then on uh, on Voyager, it was Neelix and Seven of Nine. And then on DS9, it was oddly, oddly, it was Miles. <laughs> it's fucking Miles. Um, and then everybody just kind of like used him as a punching bag, like a, like a verbal punching bag until he had that, um, that prison sentence where he had to live like 20 years in inside like like just like like a few hours with the brain chip thing and it like he ended up mentally killing his, his prison cellmate and he was like fucked up by it after that 
And then at that point, we were all like, oh, shit. Our bad. Strange, it is going good. Thank you so much for coming back. Kind of hoping for Miss Quib to sing the 12 days of Noita on day 12. <laughs> if you can come up with a better for day one half that. Thank you, Meister. I will definitely check it out. The ending of Battle Star, Star Galactica pissed me off. LOL. Really good show, though. Got a little too... Yes! Ants. I think that's what I was referring to. I haven't seen it in forever. We saw it... Later, Ants. Take it easy. Here, I think? Or elsewhere. Um, but yeah, like the ending just felt clunky. Ants, thank you so much. Hope you have a good night. Hope you have a good day after Christmas. Didn't like Caprica that much. Would have preferred something along the lines of elaborating on the Cylon more with the reimagined things. The actor for Starbuck was really good in another life. I love her Starbuck. I thought she was great. Katie Sackhoff? Yeah. What's Miss Queeb's take on Discovery? I... I like it in that I can't view it as an actual Star Trek series. Like, it's... To me, it, it seems like... I am not a hardcore fan. I'm just someone who's watched a lot. I have ADHD. I tend to hyper-focus, and I'm good at remembering details. That's literally it. Um, a good majority of Star Trek episodes is, here's a problem, and we need to figure it out. Oh, here Starfleet's guidelines on that. Oh, we actually need to talk to Starfleet. Oh, okay, and that's it. And there, there is like a, a method, right? It's like whenever something fucks up, or or oh, we we have to secretly transport a Cardassian uh, back to he's defecting. You, we need to like camouflage him. He's going back and like all this shit. Same thing with like a Romulan dude defector, and it's like. There's all these different things that are going on with Starfleet, and part of the, like in DS9, for instance, they had, um, oh shit, what was the, the, the secret division called? It was like 31 or something, where it's basically their CIA black ops bullshit, and you really learn how insidious Starfleet can be, and then you get to Discovery, and, yeah! You have your uh, everything's like fucked. They've been a get like Starfleet. I'm using quoting fingers because I don't know if anyone has actually not seen it yet and wants to see it. Like the whole thing is like, oh shit, everything is fucked, and then they end up going in the future, and then there's nothing there, and you're just, Starfleet's led by someone who just doesn't really seem to give a shit. So to me, anyway, it doesn't seem like it's, it's actual Star Trek. It just seems like it is a sci-fi show that is very similar to some of the the ethical discussions that happen in Star Trek. Action Trek, yes. It is more action than science. Yes, thank you. Obsidian, that is correct. Water was Cardassian. Of DS9, that was kind of just. It's like, well, we, we have this vision. I love that people are asking my opinions about reptiles, Star Trek, and other stuff. I, like, I have, I have found my people. Tal Sheriff for the Romulans for the counter. Yes, absolutely. Um, I really like seeing the Tal Shiar in Picard. I wish we could have seen more of them. Um, I, I want to learn more as opposed to just like the the whole shifty ass Romulan storyline that seems to always be the case. I would like to see more. As opposed to, you know, like a housekeeper and a butler being very quiet, silently seen members of a species that we, we used to think were bad and now we don't, but we kind of do because of the fallout from Picard and whatnot. 
Quee pull it silently playing noise while people are nerding out about Star Trek for half an hour. <laughs> He's used to it. He's used to it. What's Miss Queeb's take on the Orville? I have not seen it. Uh, if you hear snoring, by the way, that is Zoe. She's directly under my desk. She sounds amazing. I love her snores. Uh, what was the reason I didn't watch the Orville? There was an, an incident. I I tend to not watch things that have violence against animals or women, and that that's like a personal thing that I don't really doesn't need a discussion. Um, and I think there was a, an incident. I uh, I think I'm gonna call it there tonight. Wow! Check you out. Presents exploding to snow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've been very bad this Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, let's do an early raid tonight. Who are we gonna raid? Let me have a look here. Oh, uh, we can... Follow the James Webb telescope launch. No? Oh, we get to raid duty... Uh, DT fish. Yeah, let's let's jump in on dude. DT. You guys, thank you so much. Happy Honda days. Happy Toyota Fun. Happy Truck Month. Happy Weebmas. Happy Quevent. Happy Noitmas. Happy Noitmas. Back to regularly scheduled program tomorrow. With a new game. Yep. Um. Happy Boxing Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, take it easy, folks. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Miss Queeb, for um, uh, enlightening the stream. It's, it's been wonderful. <laughs> and, um, folks, thank you for joining me on this lovely night venture we've had. Um, it was fun. It was fun to get back into it. I'm started to get a little bit of uh, of that difficult game fatigue. But uh, yeah. All right, folks. Take it easy. We'll see you again.